people want to see me rise just so they can watch a longer fall a lot of people want to dig in my pockets but don't nobody want to deal with the cost a lot of people got a favor to ask but not a lot of them would answer my call a lot would say they love me straight to my face but behind my back they don't like me at all a lot of people want to take advantage of me but nobody's seen my vantage point a lot of people have a plan for me they be acting like my life is their choice a lot of people getting mad at me when i ain't responding and they get annoyed acting like we're boys but the truth is bitch i get pissed off and just out of your voice why should i throw how the fuck i feel i ain't getting no help for the stuff i built it and bust my ass just to get to this spot for you to tell me what i should do and should not if i was crip then i do this but you're not crip bitch i am him fuck being humble fuck being generous you only like me because of the benefits where would you be if i stopped helping out probably forgive me and find someone else i help someone once and then they expect me to be used for unlimited clout wow just take a look at who's no longer around i kick them to the curb like hands on the ground they only wanted me around because they know crips associated with the crowd but now the new me he gone wave goodbye say so long i'm done Letting shit slide, I'm clogging pipes from dusk till dawn So back the fuck up, bitch, because I've had enough of this And yes, I'm talking to you, your conscience is true I'm back up in this shit, so we'll break the news And I'm back, rendezvous on the yes Everybody running hot because I'm through with the yes Say ooh, break the news And I'm back on these motherfuckers heads like a noose Break the news and I'm back, break the news And I'm back, break the news And I'm back, break the news Breaking, breaking, bitch, I'm back, no time for wasting Sunk my teeth into these lames And now it, I get teeth decaying Which is saying that they're toxic rot Until there's none remaining Funny how these people with no clout be so damn entertaining Quite amusing, encore, encore Fuck your bitch, she want more, want more uh, That line is out of line, but fuck it I'm still top four, top four No opinions here, sir, I'm sure Listen to your new shit, I'm bored Talking fake, I don't relate Now you should get your story straight If you want the smoke, I'll give you first hand I pack a wallop like Berlin A lot of people claim that they're the wave When I get on the was All right, how's my audio? Can you guys hear me okay? Looks like it's doing okay so far. Let's get over to my game room. 
Alrighty. Violet, online. Code in, Soji Sakata. Race mode. Violet, online. Welcome back, Soji. Visilink, connecting. Visilink, connected. Race mode, engaged. Sweet. Alright. As always, works like a charm. Thank you, Violet. Let me get some... Let me see if he dropped me that link yet so I can go get some better music. <laughs> it's a little quiet. Uh, no, I'll pull up what I had before for now. Actually, I have this new one I'm going to try. Oh boy, that's really loud. Is it? Yep, that's really loud. Sorry. Wow, that's really loud in my headset, too. Oh, okay. Well, I will check that out later on, then, when I have some time to go over it off-stream. I've got this kind of, like, chill rock thing that I found, and it's supposed to be completely copyright. He says he made it all. So I will run with that for the moment. Not perfect, but gets me the, gets the job done. Unfortunately, I do have to go into my game settings and actually... Oh, yep, I just got that. Thank you. I will check that out here in a little bit. Wowee, that is really loud on my side. That's better, I think. Okay, awesome. Alright, so, game we're playing today, Need for Speed Pro Street. I'm actually going to turn that down a little more because I can't even hear myself talk. Whoops, that was mute, that wasn't lower volume. I should be able to turn it back up a little bit for you guys, but without blowing my eardrums out. <laughs> there are little literal 4,000 tracks there, remixes of game music, you have panel linking to their site and you can use any track from there. Yeah, I'm turning it back up. No worries. I had to turn it down and then turn it back up on Streamlabs so you could hear. Got to rejoin on my laptop. Phone's glitching, but... Awesome. Yeah, no problem. We'll see you in a minute, then. I'm still tinkering with these settings. As a new streamer, I'm still learning this kind of thing, so I'm getting there. Alrighty. I'd practiced my debut stream, so I had, like, all of that down, and I knew all my settings for it. But now that I'm using different stuff, I don't know half of this, so... I'm getting there, I'm getting there. It'll just take me some time. Okra mix. I think that's how you say that. Okay, cool. Yeah, that is a ton of music. Awesome. I'm so checking that out later. But, in the meantime, this is the game we're playing you're seeing on stream. This is Need for Speed Pro Street for Xbox 360. Uh, something a little bit different. It is Throwback Thursday, and I want to do a throwback. Overclocked Remix. Nope, it's OC Remix. Oh, Overclocked Remix. Okay. Uh, let me see if I can find that real quick. Ochre Music. I gotta get over to that website. I have no idea if I'm even saying that right. Uh, da -da -da -da. Oh, that wasn't right. Who's the RE? Oh, Mix. That's why. Mix. Oh, yeah, Overclocked. It's right there. Oh, Overclocked Remix. That's what it's called. <laughs> I thought you meant to look that one up on that website. No, that's actually what it's called. Don't mind me. I might be stupid. Oh, brother. That's funny. I think they have their stuff on YouTube, too. Really? Interesting. Cool. So it looks like a... Oh, it's powered by SoundCloud. Cool. Okay. I'm actually familiar with that site. Is my... My tracking... Oh, no. Because, right, I'm on a... I'm watching myself on my phone. I'm like, my tracking isn't working. No, I'm on a delay. I forgot about that. And I can pull those advanced audio settings back up and make those go away for the moment. All right. I really wish there wasn't a copyright thing. That's such a pain to fight. It's one of the hardest things about streaming, I think. Let me get... I need that out of the way first. Let me get this to full-size mode. 
for right now. Okay, I am going to try to, like, make a playlist on that website tonight. That way I can use it properly. Um, and I'll, plus I'll be able to practice with it a little bit so I know how to actually run it. Alright. In the meantime... Basically just explore the site off-stream, gather a few tracks so you can use them since I play loads of JRP. Nice! Yeah, because JRPG music, like, friggin' goes hard. That's some good stuff, man. I love, uh, like, uh, the Final Fantasy VII score and stuff. So good. Like, I, that's, like, workout music. Okay, I'm alive. Hey, welcome back, Koi. Glad you could... Glad you are able to get switched over. I didn't start playing until you got back because I knew you were coming. So, if you've never seen it before, this is the game we're going to be playing today. This is Need for Speed Pro Street for the Xbox 360. It is one of my all-time favorite racing games. Let, uh, let's make a new save here. Yes, I have to make a new save. Yeah, okay, whatever. Suji, you know what? Nah, we're going to do this instead. Turbo. Where's you? Oh, right there. R B. Oh. There we go. Uh, casual breaking and assist racer. It's been a while since I've had to start a new career. King raw power of the car. Yes, I'll have that, please. So, gonna be doing that. Four viewers. Who else is here? Oh, I can't see. Uh, where's my other Streamlabs thing? Do, 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 do. Twitch, there it is. Who else is in chat? Dragonator. Oh, how did you know that? Even I can't find that. Oh, right there. Nope, that just makes me hide my viewer account. I see you. Oh, mod panel. You are way better at this than I am. I can't even find that. Maybe if I add a quick action? Nope, that's not it. I have no idea how to run this. <laughs> I really should have learned Twitch more before I started streaming. <laughs> uh, community. No, that's roles. Settings. Nah, you good? Okay, well, thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm learning, so I'm hoping to get better at this as I go. I have no idea. Well, welcome, Dragonator. I know you're there, at least, so... I don't know how the hell to look that up and tell, but I know you're there, so welcome. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's go back there. Yep. Sweet, now I have my chat back. All right, I got a free Energizer Lithium car pack. Well, now it's three. Oh. Uh, I don't know why. It still shows four on my side, but oh well. Oh, unless I scared him off, in which case, my bad. <laughs> I was just trying to say hello, man. Uh, yeah, that's fine, whatever. No. Oh, man. Come on. Dang it. I gotta reboot the whole game now. Such a pain. I will say, this is my really old Xbox, and none of the gamer tags on it are right anymore. They haven't been in a long time, so... Apparently someone is lurking for more than 15 minutes. Twitch no longer counts them as a viewer. Uh, it's kind of stupid if you ask me. Yeah, no kidding. Just letting you know chat shows... Oh, yeah. Uh, Koi, yeah, I know it kind of shows up really slowly. Uh, I've got the latency set as low as possible. It's, it's showing up as fast as I can. That's just internet being internet. Uh, no, that's not just on your side. As I, It shows up behind for me as well on my phone. And I'll say something and, you know, two or three minutes later you guys are able to respond. It's just the way it is. I've got it set as low as I can possibly make it, and I cannot make it go faster. I don't know how. Unfortunately, I wish. It's not that bad, is it? I'm, I'm going two or three minutes of what I'm thinking of time-wise. Oh, man. All right, we'll load this career, and I'm going to start a new one. 
Yeah, it is annoying. I wish I could change that. It's not It's not quite two or three minutes in real time. It's just a couple of minutes. Literally three seconds. For me, it's normal. You can't have it any faster, TBH. Okay, well, that's good. Uh, I'm, of course, I'm, I, I know what I'm watching on myself on stream. It actually, like, takes a minute to respond. What I see on my phone is several, probably 30 or 40 seconds behind what I'm actually seeing on Streamlabs, so... I don't know why it's so slow. I don't know if there's anything I can even do to change it. Okay, few, because when I type something that maybe take... No, I no. if you ever say anything, uh, Koi, I usually know it. I'll either ask if I don't understand, or I usually pick up on it, so you're good. I, I understand if it's out of context, it's the internet. It's weird. Career. All right, we're going to start a... Oh, wait. No, hang on a minute. I got to go to options. I want game music, but I can't have any uh, menu. Oh, menu and... Oh, perfect. I turned them off already. Okay, cool. So I can turn game sound on then. For me, it's longer even. I have a six-second delay usually. Huh, okay. Yeah, I have no idea how to fix that. It's just this seems to be the way it is. God, I hate Windows for that. Anybody else hate the thing on Windows where you hover over your hover over your weather on your toolbar and then you get a full page of news that you don't care about? It's so annoying. I really hate that. All right, let me go turn my game sound on now that I can actually. Oh, it shows like that's. It shouldn't be playing music. I don't think it is. Oh yeah, I can hear it. It's working, and it's not playing music. Awesome. You don't, it's just the way it is. Data travel time. Ah, okay. That makes sense. I actually did read one time that the internet, if you were to collect all of the physical internet, like all of the electrons it travels across, it would be about the weight and size of a softball. I thought that was kind of interesting. All of the capacity of the internet, and you could literally hold it in the palm of your hand. <laughs> I thought that was interesting to learn. All right. Can I turn up stream the music on here anymore? No, it is about maxed out. Okay. I need to figure out how to up that volume on there if I ever need to. Whatever. We are going to create a new career. Career number two is what we're going to be playing, because I have beat this game probably 10 or 15 times in my life. This is cutscene music, I can't do much about this. But it's not copyright, so we're good. The last racing game I was really good at was NFS Carbon. I can't say I, I blame you on that. Carbon, I, I'm a fan of Underground 2, but Carbon was really good. Hey, you get, oops, that's probably too loud, isn't it? Sorry. Uh, how's the game audio? Can you guys hear that okay, too? Sorry about that. I was trying to adjust it, and I forgot desktop audio is way louder than usual, so... Like, my mic volume, I want in the yellow all the time, but desktop audio, if you even get half of the green, it's it's way too loud. I don't know why. Is it good now? Thanks, Koi. Yes, this game is really, really fun. It is one of my favorites. I think it's okay. Yeah, awesome. Okay. Yeah, this is one of my favorite games. It's one of the few Need for Speed games that doesn't have cops, actually. And uh, that makes it one of my favorites because it's all about... Like, there is no running away from the police all the time. There is no constant chases I don't want. It is all about actual racing skill, and I love that. Oh, God, I hate this guy. God. Hey, Koi, you remember the car I told you I wanted? The green one you're seeing on screen with all of the different colors, the one that's me you're following, that's the car I want with a different front end, like the fender's bumper and hood and stuff, and headlights. 
That changes, but the rest of the car stays the same. That's the car I want. Imagine being able to drive. I forget you don't have a license. That that boggles as an auto mechanic. That boggles my mind. I wouldn't function without a license. That is part of my job. I cannot imagine a world in which I don't drive. I got gasoline and motor oil running through my veins. I couldn't survive without cars. You don't have one either, Darkwing. Holy crap! Do you guys not have driver's licenses? I would go insane. S13. Fire today. Fun. F I'm partially sighted. Oh, God. Yeah, okay. That would make sense. Yeah, if you have eyesight problems, driving probably not the best idea. I understand that completely. Definitely don't try to drive if you can't see. Yeah, that's, uh, that never ends well. Although, of course, Top Gear did prove a while back that they had a blind guy settle faster lap time than a lot of the celebrities that came in. They. They gave him instruction on when to turn and stuff, and they had a blind guy actually put a pretty fast lap time up. He was in the 152 range on the Top Gear test track, and that was in a Suzuki Liana. It was pretty fast. I was impressed. All right, now that the cutscene's over, I can turn my music back on. Oh, I love that Four banger sound. God, I want this card in real life so bad. I'm not eligible yet, SMH. Yeah, understandable. Yeah, you gotta be... I assume that's because you're not old enough, or is it because of other factors? Oh, light damage. That wasn't good. I am out of practice. I've been playing a lot of Forza. Come on, little S13. Ah, stupid Civic... Ouch, that's going to hurt. This is one of the best damage engines I think Need for Speed ever had. These cars actually will take visual damage. Well, you can see there, I just blew his tail light out. Come on. If I look back, I think it's... Nope, that was shift, that was shift. Why is it look back? Yeah, see how my car's taking damage? Out of practice, I don't remember my controls. Oh, sir. Oh, yep, not old enough. I was just getting ready to ask why you weren't eligible for that. That's all right. You'll get there someday. It's an amazing thing to be able to drive. It is one of the... I actually... My debut day was the 10-year anniversary of getting my permit. So I have been on the road 10 years now, and... I wouldn't change a thing. I've owned 20 different vehicles. I've uh, I've actually owned one of these cars in real life. What you're seeing on screen now, a Nissan 240SX S13 hatch. Uh, I have owned one of these, but it was a pile of garbage and I had to sell it. Uh, but I have owned 19 other vehicles along with this one, the one that I owned. Uh, I currently own three, actually. <laughs> One's for resale, though, so I'm not keeping it. God, I'm so glad I get to get an upgrade on this car very, very soon in this game, because it's slow as crap. We will get to customize this car, too. Oof! That wasn't good for it. That's eh, probably fine. Woo! We win. It's literally the tutorial race. It, I'd better win that, or I'm going to have a problem. Turn that back off for the cutscene again. God, I love that car. So cool. Oh, shut up, Rio. I have, I actually have owned one vehicle. What'd you have? Was there anything cool? Just normal car? What'd you have? 
Oh, I forgot. Rio has scorchers on that car, so he leaves colored tire smoke. Fun fact, those are a real kind of tire that you can buy. Uh, they are. They actually will emit colored smoke, but unfortunately they kill the performance of your car because they don't grip the road properly. And I've owned zero. Yeah, I kind of figured that. Hello, Butterball. Welcome. First time in the chat. Awesome. Nice, nice to have you here. Glad you could make it. This is Need for Speed Pro Street for Xbox 360. Um, luckily, it does connect to my capture card, so I can actually play it. Uh, this is... We're just getting started. All you've missed is the preliminary race. Uh, my grandfather's car was on my name. Oh, okay. That would make more sense. All right. And I forgot there's engine noises in the background if you listen. It sounds like cars passing by the pit. That's cool. But yeah, welcome into the chat. Like I said, we're playing Need for Speed Pro Street, one of my all-time favorite racing games. Uh, hence, Throwback Thursday. Yes, I love this game. I've beaten it like six times in my life. Yes, me too. I bet you I have played this. God, I think I've owned every single car in this game. I have played this so much. It is absolutely one of my favorites. Uh, I, I absolutely adore this game. It's so much fun. Uh, you actually will know we're going into Battle Machine uh, Challenge Nevada. So uh, put, place your bets now on whether I take the Cobalt or the Civic. I may be a JDM boy, but I do love... I actually currently own a Pontiac Fiero and a Chevy Avalanche. But I also have owned a uh, Nissan 240SX and my sister owns a Civic. So it's anybody's guess on which car I'm going to take. I don't... The Cobalt was not bad in this game. No, it really wasn't. It's actually a pretty decent... Till it peaks, yeah. It's a good starter, though. The Civic isn't bad... Uh, not great at drag. It's better for grip if you put it in. Uh, but the Civic, or the Cobalt's actually decent if you just keep it in the, in the, the drag racing for a little bit. I've done them both. Do you actually know about the other free, uh, like, uh, challenges where you can get free cars if you run them? There are ancient names to me. Yes, yeah, sorry, I, I know I'm probably speaking Greek to you there, Koi, but, uh, it is... I'm a car nerd. I can tell you the make, model, and sometimes even the trim type uh, based on just looking at a vehicle. It's kind of crazy. I'm, I'm just really good with cars. It's what I do. Alrighty. We are going to run the grip race first. Cheyenne. What's the other one? Dakota? I'm just going to pretend I understand. I own two cars so far. What do you have, Butterball? I'm curious. Oh, let's do some drag racing first. Let's, and Joe Tackett, he runs the Apex Glide. That's Rio's crew. I want to whoop him. We're taking the Cobalt first. I don't need a tutorial on I can't skip the tutorial. <laughs> I hate starting a new game for this reason. I always want to skip, and they won't let me. I feel like that part in, uh, what's that? Wow, what was that? Ah, oh, what the heck was that? Uh, oh, Fairly Odd Parents. Dinkelberg! 17 two-door Civic and an... Yo, you have an 89 Skyline? Is that an R... I can't remember the years. Is that an R31, if I'm correct? R31, or did they make the R32 by then? I thought the R32 was later. 32. Bro, that is sick. Is it black like uh, Nakazato from Initial D? Please tell me you have... A, please at least tell me you have a Night Kid sticker if you're an anime fan. That would be so sick. Yup. Nice. That is so sick. Uh, if you know Initial D, then, you'll know the car I want. I am looking for Mako and Sayuki's Sil 80 uh, is the car I seek. It is so, so cool to me. I love that car. Sit back in and take all this info. I never... Yes, I'm sorry if I'm sp if I'm going to end up speaking Greek a lot tonight for you, Koi. Uh, but uh, it, it, whenever you hear me talking about something you don't understand, just go with... Car, 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 car. Uh, fact about car, car. Uh, that That's pretty much all I'm going to be talking about. <laughs> I know she'll probably take a minute to respond because her uh, she apparently has some lag on her end. So, <laughs> All right, let's run. I got Paul Co. Basically, every because uh, everybody's running the same car. Wow, I haven't seen these names in a long time. 
I'm used to the later races like Takashi Sato, uh, Ivan Tarkovsky. Oh, what was the one? Dang it, I can't remember their name. Whatever. I mean, I can just draw while listening, so... Okay, yeah, awesome. If you want to hang out, I just appreciate you hanging out with us. You be you, bud. If you're passionate about the stuff, talk. I am definitely passionate about cars, so that is... Uh, uh, that That's just something I can ramble for probably literal weeks on end about cars. So I'm going to do that and yeah, keep up with you guys in chat as well while I'm racing. Uh, and word the huge late name games. Yeah, definitely. There are some big, big names in the back end of this game. Uh, JP Laurent is the one that always sticks with me because of that fishtailing Zonda that's just out of control. That thing is a monster to handle. All right. I used to be really good at this. Let's see if I still got the touch. I actually have broken into the sixes in, this, in drag times in this game. I have broken into the six second range with this. Which, you won't believe with this car. I haven't done it with this, obviously. Ah! Now that's two deathers. Yeah, Wade Jackson. God, I hate that guy. It's like, dude... S13 is cool in real life. S13 is really cool in drift racing. Not for a speed challenge car super promotion. It's not that fast. Yes, that guy. I hate that guy. He's awful. JP Laurent and him and... Oh, what's the guy with the Corvette? The stupid box cut Corvette that he always wrecks. I can't come up with his name. Paulo? Pablo? Something like that. I can't remember. God, that guy drives me nuts. Yeah, yeah, you know. God, that guy is just... He drives me up the wall. I will say, the stock wheels on a Cobalt SS, I had the pleasure of riding one of, in one of these in college. Stock chrome five spokes like you get on the back of these cars are really, really good. They look really sharp. Fun fact, you can take the supercharger or turbocharger out of one of these and put them into a Pontiac Solstice or a Saturn Sky, and you will have a... Basically, if they would have made a uh, Solstice SS, you can build your own. Fun fact. Super cool cars. Uh, open top, two-seat roadster. It's just a little Ecotec motor, but they are tremendous little vehicles. And yeah, you can turbocharge those. It was the same... Yes, it was the same engine. So they are both... Oh, hey, how do you like the consistency so far on the drag times? 13.06, 13.06. I might be on my game tonight. Uh, but yes, they were the same 2.4 liter Ecotec variable valve timing engines, and you can switch out the intake uh, manifolds for a supercharger. They are sweet. I've seen one swapped before. It is a nasty, nasty thing. Dude had it slammed on coilovers as well. The thing was so rad. I would love to have one of those with an anime wrap on it. I would so rock a red one with, like, an Asuka Langley from Evangelion. Oh, ho, ho. that'd be so sick. Another fun fact about this game. When she drops her hands, it's actually when she initially moves her hands away from the top of her head. When she first moves is when you have to go. So it's one, two, three, four. And as soon as you're ready to say five, you hit the shift button to go, and you will time it perfectly. My stats on my launch... 0.03 on the launch. That's how close you can get this game if you time it out right. And I ran 13-13 because I did not deploy my nitrous correctly. But we win the race. Uh, and Natasha wraps, wraps for the win. Yes. The initial D Sil 80 I want, I don't want it to look like Mako and Sayuki's. I want the same body kit and stuff, but what I really want in terms of... Uh, mm, excuse me. What I really want in terms of the like visuals... I want some really nice, clean-looking five-spoke, like, uh, rotiforms. Uh, something they'll probably forget, but thanks for the fact anyways. Yeah, no problem. If you ever have the chance to own a cool car or something, it's always cool to see what you can do to them, because most manufacturers, and this is a f another fun fact I happen to know, most manufacturers reuse parts from their cars on other models of their cars. So, like, you can take the... Okay, like the Corvette shares a lot of its moving parts of its engine with a normal Chevy pickup truck. The same thing with the Mustang and the F-150. 
most companies use different uh, parts in the same car, or same parts in different cars to basically help make it cheaper to build cars. So true, so many cars, yes. There's actually a term for this, if you were curious, called uh, badge engineering. The Basically what they do is they take the same car, but they slap a different name on it. Uh, the Indians in particular, uh, from uh, not like American Indians, obviously, the India, the country India, they are known for this. They buy, uh, they buy up many, many different car companies, uh, or they will be bought out by many different car companies, and basically just distribute the same cars all over the world under different names. Uh, General Motors, terrible for this as well. And yes, yeah, sorry, I am gonna ramble about cars tonight, Koi. It's uh, I'm a car nerd. This is what I do. I I literally work nine hours a day on cars. And there was a point in time in my life where I came home from working all day on cars to come home and play Car Mechanic Simulator. I, I literally did that at one point. I was working on cars either in real life or in a video game for around 16 hours a day for probably two months of my life. And I actually enjoyed it. It was fun. It's therapeutic to me. Some people do. I don't mind it. Kind of cool getting to learn about it. Oh, cool. Well, yeah, if you, and if you ever have any car questions or anything, even if I'm not on stream, you guys have me on uh, Twitter. Follow me. Send me a DM if you have a question or, hey, what car should I buy? Uh, I don't know as much about overseas markets, but I know most of the U.S. domestic market as well as the, uh, one, two, go. Oh, shoot. My, I pressed the thing and it didn't go. But yeah, I can tell you what cars I would recommend for purchase and what cars I would tell you to stay away from because... Uh, as a mechanic who works on them day in and day out, I know some of the trash that gets sold out there. And, uh, it is scary what they're allowed to sell. There are cars I would not... I've, I've driven cars that I've had to work on that I would not drive around my building. Like, they are that sketchy. I'm like, the wheels are going to come off of this thing. Uh, but yeah, seriously, if you guys ever... I, like I said, I can't do much for like... Uh, you know, very niche market stuff. Like, I know virtually nothing about European cars. I, 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 I'm an American. I, I stream in EST because I live in EST. Uh, so I have doxed myself down to a mere... How many people live in EST? Like, 200 million or whatever. So, yeah, I'm one of those 200 million. A little fat load of... Get I will say, yeah, I, I can't help you much with Euro cars, uh, especially because where I live, I live in the middle of nowhere. So the nearest dealership is like 100 miles away for any of those Euro cars. Uh, and you can't fix them around here. You can't get parts. You can't work on them. They're so awful. Why is Kanye filling up my Twitter feed? Honestly, it's anybody's guess as to why Kanye does what he does. I, I don't want to know. I know there's that whole drama between him and Pete Davidson or whatever because somebody broke up with somebody and... Uh, I, I, I don't know much past that because that's what I read on the tabloids at the dollar store the other day. <laughs> that was all I get is what I pass through, uh, what I see on magazines. I have not actually watched news in over six years. My dad was having heart trouble uh, because of uh, watching the news. He was actually getting chest pains and stuff like that. And uh, so he stopped watching the news and it all went away. He was literally getting stressed out too bad for watching the news. So he stopped doing it and he's been a lot better for it. Uh, I didn't know that uh, he had new music out. Huh. Bear, new music video. Oh, new music video of him burying Pete Davidson. Okay, yeah, that would make sense. Again, something I wouldn't know because all I, lit I literally have on my social media feeds, I have keeping up with other car companies, uh, uh, just it, people I'm interested in, Lamborghini, Chevrolet, Nissan, whatever. You call it music debatable. Yeah, I'm not a huge Kanye fan. I, I, I'm with Darkwing on this. I'm not a Kanye fan. I am much more, well, like I said in my debut, my favorite artist is Demon Dice, um, I am a Eurobeat uh, freak at heart. I do. I wish I could listen to Eurobeat on stream. I, that would be amazing. Uh, but that's just what I do. Wait, I have an ancient story about Kanye. Now you have my curiosity, because what what do you have about Kanye that has me interested? All right. Let's race. Unfortunately, I have to run this Golf GTI. 
Kanye East, Kanye North, Kanye South, Kanye West. <laughs> well, it, the sad part is, is you joke about that, but isn't there some, like, named Northeast or some crap? Or Southwest or whatever? No, Southwest is an airline. Never mind. Whatever. <laughs> oh, God, I hate the... Hey, I can skip this tutorial! Yes! It's Northwest. Okay, I was right. It was Northwest. I was close. I, I knew I'd get that wrong, because I'm like, it's two combinations of two cardinal directions, and I can't remember which one. And it's a girl. Oh. Okay, yeah, I'm really showing my knowledge here about what I know. <laughs> oh, hang on a second. I'm going to be quiet for just a minute. Um, tell me if you guys are getting any kind of background noise, okay? I'm going to be quiet for like 10 seconds now. Okay, do you guys hear anything during that at all? Uh, unfortunately, I have to stream in the room where my furnace is at, and it just kicked on, so I wanted to make sure you guys couldn't hear any of that. As long as it was good and quiet, we're good. Don't think so. Awesome. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Your what? My furnace. Um, it, uh, it's keeping me nice and warm right now at a crisp 67 degrees. Because outside is much colder than that. I hate living in an area where there is a winter. But I'm trapped, so hey, whatever. I hear a low hum in the back, but it's not that bad. Okay, yeah, that would be the furnace. As long as you guys can still hear me and it's not too distracting, I apologize. Uh, but it is too cold to be able to turn it off, unfortunately. Uh, otherwise, my pipes will freeze. I live in a small mobile home. Uh, it's nice. I really like it. But unfortunately, because it's a mobile home, uh, I can't uh, turn the furnace off unless it's above like 65 degrees. Super clear compared to that. Awesome. That's exactly what I was hoping for. I have a really good headset with a great mic, so I was hoping for that. But I wanted to make sure. Whoa, I forgot about the chicane. And I am getting tweet notifications. We'll set up a noise gate if it's too bad. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how to do uh, noise gates, so you may have to help me with that. The other thing is I am planning on getting a new microphone soon. Uh, it is tax time here in America, of course. I have filed my income taxes. And I'm also in bowling leagues, so I get uh, winnings back for that because I usually win uh, in bowling leagues. So I, sh I am expecting several hundred dollars, which I'm hoping to put into stream equipment. Yeah, I'll teach you if we need it. Awesome. That would be very appreciated because I am hopeless when it comes to that stuff. Bowling. Yes, I am actually an avid 10-pin bowler. I was varsity in college. I um, already got my payment emotes and voice mod. Nice. Heck yeah. Uh-oh. That's not good. I was, I was watching chat. Dang it. Now I know how people screw up watching chat all the time while they're racing. Damn it. Yes, yeah, I know. I'm racing scuffed. I'm really out of practice at this game. I have not been not been playing this for a long time. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, I am an avid 10-pin bowler. Oh, yeah. Nice. Cool mod or cool uh, emotes. I don't think... I have to see if I... I think I follow you on Twitch, but I need to make sure I do. I know I follow you on Twitter, but I don't know if I ever checked to follow you on Twitch. Yeah, those came out super dope, though, dude. Those look awesome. There's a little bit better corner. But yeah, as I was saying, I am an avid 10-pin bowler. Uh, you, of course, max score is 300. I have had... F am I up to 13 or 14 perfect games now? Uh, I've had many, many of them. Uh, I have also won the local Masters Tournament a couple of times. Uh, both the youth and the uh, adult division. And I am a 235 average on my current league. So, I do okay. I've actually, I actually went to college on a uh, on a bowling scholarship. I went to one with a bowling team, and uh, they actually paid me significant amounts of money to bowl for them every year. So that was kind of cool. I'm an avid golfer too. I was state champion in high school. That was fun. Not individually, but my team was. I'm considering making emotes for someone. I'd love to see those when you're done, Koi. I don't know who you're making them for, but that'd be rad. I know. I like your art style. Would be very suited to. Uh, to some emotes too. You have that very, like I said, it's almost like a Saturday morning cartoon style, which I think is really, really cool. That's like the best way I can describe your stuff. So please take that the right way. Um, but yeah, that'd be sweet if uh, 
That'd be sweet to see what you're coming up with, because you would definitely be very, very good at this as an emote artist. Aw, oh, man. Butterball, you know this paint all too well. You get the free thing, and you get the stupid insurance marker. God, I hate that. Ah, So annoying. And... Go ahead, place your bets, place your bets. I hate the free card thing, I know. Now, see, I like it because there's always a chance you'll hit the free car pass. You get one free vehicle from the auto show, which if you get it, whatever you do for the love of God, save it, and then as soon as you get the Zonda, you unlock it and take it to drag racing because that is where it's superior. And I am getting bombed on Twitter here. Hang on a minute. What is happening? Holy crap. My Twitter's blowing up. Oh, I just have people liking my go live tweet. Okay, cool. That works. Uh, and if you were going to guess, oh, the meta is the Zonda. And yes, the Zonda is the best. However, I actually speed run this game. Uh, not like legitimately speed run, but I have the way to do it with the least amount of car purchases possible. And I'm going to show you how it's done. We're taking the Cobalt. Mostly because I just need to get through Battle Machine. But I'm going to go through and beat this game with the fewest amount of car purchases possible. Because I want to play this more on stream. Now, we have to go... I know I can go down here to Chicago Airfield. But I need to go up to Willow Springs and do some grip racing. Because we need to get to that top radioactive symbol and get our first free car. Uh, in case you were curious, by the way, Butterball, the uh, I remember taking out modders online with that car. Yes! Yeah, that thing is dumb fast, even against mods. Like, that thing was the... that was the stuff. But, you can beat this game, if I'm correct. You take the... You run the Cobalt and the 240 all the way through. You get the 240S... or the 350Z out of this top showdown up here. Make it grip. Switch your 240SX to drift. Leave the Cobalt in... Dr or no, that's what it was. You leave everything the same... You take the 350Z and put it in drag to help you win the showdown. You get into React, you go down, you get the Supra. The Supra then becomes the drag. By then, you can afford the Evo for grip. You switch the 240 to drift, you sell the Cobalt, and then all you need is a Porsche 911, and you win. It is that easy. And I know that was a lot to go off of. You made yours drift. Oh, that thing. I didn't know. Really? I've never tried to drift a Zonda. I might have to try that if I'm able to get one. First thing we're going to do, though, cars, garage. I don't care. I have no idea what you just said, but continue. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Sometimes I can go into a little bit of a... I can start talking Greek sometimes when I get ahead of myself. But uh, I promise to those who know cars, it makes sense. Ah, shoot. My colleague had a joke whenever he... Had a joke he used whenever he wouldn't understand what I was talking about. What was the joke? I'm curious. I might have heard it before. I have a lot of people do that. Sounds like Chinese to me, he said. Oh, yeah, that's... I, I, I've heard some people do that. Uh, Chinese, Japanese, uh, Welsh, Greek, anything. I've heard a lot of them. Just whatever language you don't understand, throw that one out there. Yeah, people seem to go for it. There we go. Now, funny story about this game. They give you free parts because they're installed on your other blueprints. You have to find them. I would like to do 100% runs. Oh, like 100% drifting? Yeah, I have done some 100 per Oh, are you are you talking like 100%ing the whole game? Because even I've never done that. Uh, I get bored really fast. No, no, this game. Yes, okay. Yeah, no, even I've gotten bored doing that, so I never did it. <laughs> like, I got close once. I think I was at like 97%, and I'm like, okay, yeah, this is literally just going around circles all the time. There's no more, like, story progression, and I got bored with it. Uh, fun fact about this game, though, because if I were to exit this, we're going to update the blueprint. Yes. Now look at the performance levels. Right now, they are exactly the same car. The top car and the bottom car, power handling and arrow are all the same, and I have spent zero dollars on this car. We're about to make it a whole lot faster for free. Custom upgrade, nope. I want visuals, or no, body. Here we go. Fun thing, we can change the wheels because they came with it from the f uh, from the other blueprint. Where are they at? There they are, HRE. 
C20s, yummy upgrades. Yes, we're about to make this car look a whole lot better. We're going to go with those because they are owned for free. We got to have the deep dish boys on here. Ooh, no, we don't want to stretch the tires. No, no. We do want to make big old fat tires on here, though, because we are a race car. I'm going to run this to about 50%, I think, and then I'm going to run back up here and I'm going to max this out. Eh, I want some more still. I still want some more meat. Yeah, like 75s. That'll work. 75%. Is it possible to make it pink? I'm slightly joking. Actually, I can do a pink. I think it should be. Yeah, we can do pink on this car. I'm not usually a fan of pink on it, but we can definitely do that. So I need to go maxed here. Maxed here. I promise I'm not leaving it this way. Oh, the arrow is the way, right? Yes. Butterball, you know what we're going after. I, I had to do this first just because I want to make the car look better. As someone who's overly obsessed with pink, I am very, I'm overly happy. Awesome. That's what we like to hear. Yeah, we're going to make sure this is a... Now, I'm not going to do it all bright pink, but I am going to do some, like, pink accents on it. We're going to make it look like a proper race car, but we're going to throw some pink in there for you is what I'm going to plan on, because I think I can get away with that. It needs to be a deep pink. Yeah, I was thinking, like... I See, I was thinking... Uh, you guys can't see that. It's a different chat. Koi's name actually shows up in pink on my screen, funny enough. So that actually, now I'm considering NSF Carbon and see if I can run it on Win 10. There are supposed to be emulators for that. I know there's a guy on uh, YouTube who actually does, like, all old Need for Speed games. Uh, if you Google, like, and Need for Speed Underground 2 uh, playthrough, his channel should come up. Uh, he's pretty dope. But yeah, this is what we were talking about, Butterball. The stock auto sculpt feature. This is the only game I ever, I've ever seen with a stock auto sculpt feature. Look what it does to Arrow. It takes us almost to level 3 automatically just by putting this kit on. It doesn't even hardly look that different. It takes away, like, the mud flaps and stuff. I mean, it has a PC version. It just isn't compatible with Win 10. I don't know if it is or not. Uh, you may not even have to buy it for PC. You could just probably get it uh, for, uh, like, an emulator or something. That way you don't have to pay for it. From what I understand, emulators are free. At least what my buddy told me it was. Again... I, I've owned this PC that I'm streaming on for less than six months. So I know about, about as much about PC gaming as, uh, well, Koi knows about cars from what I understand. So I literally learned how to use Vroid Studio, learned how to turn on Streamlabs and make different stuff so I could stream. And that's been about it. Uh, emulators are free, yes, but ROMs are very much illegal. He mentioned ROMs too. Interesting. Koi will be back putting bagel in the toaster oven. Ooh, bagel. You said, oh, excuse me, I said that wrong. I, I, I watched Project Melody. Putting a bagel in the toaster oven. Okay. I gotta represent Melody at least a little bit. I do enjoy her streams. And I'm talking about the streams on here, of course. Bagel, yes. Bagel. That's how, if you've ever watched Project Melody from V Shoujo... That is how she enunciates the word bagel. Uh, because she is an AI, she says it as bagel. It's kind of weird. Because technically, you're if you own it, you're if you emulate a game, you're supposed to own it. Oh, okay, gotcha. Well, maybe he buys his ROMs then. I don't know. He just mentioned ROMs, but I don't know how. I'm slightly terrified, but no judgment. No, no worries. There's uh, it, Don't be terrified of it. She is absolutely a, a little precious... Uh, adorable thing and she just that's the way she says it so she's just adorable that way I actually I think I subscribed to, or not subscribe I can't subscribe on here because it's, it's too much money I always say subscribe because I'm used to YouTube I follow I think all the V Shoujo girls here on Twitch uh, as well as like all the V Shoujo adjacents uh, of course the new guy Booby uh, I also follow Sea Dog I follow uh, Haruka I follow Snuffy where I live, copyright law is kind of meh. No one enforces it in Latavia. Wow. That'd be nice. I wish. I have like 16 subs because I used to have videos. That's sick if we don't talk about those. I so want to talk about those now that you said that we don't talk about those. I want. Do you still have that up? Because I'd love to go watch some of your old videos. Oh, that's Latvia. <laughs> I'm reading on Twitch really fast, trying to read many different messages, and I so read it as Latavia because I'm stupid. 
<laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, crap. That's funny. My bad. My bad. <laughs> yeah, that is definitely Latvia. My bad. Again, not great with anything European, if I'm honest. I can do a British accent quite well, if you've asked me. Uh, personally, I think it's okay. But outside of that, I really don't have much to offer in terms of European culture at all. Wow. Yeah, I know. It's terrible. It's terrible. I can also go down under on the barbie, mate, if you really want me to. Uh, I can't do... What else? I can't do Russian, but I feel like now in the world is probably not a great time to do a Russian accent, so I'm going to skip that one. Um, what else can I do? Uh, I, I don't have many voice acting skills. Yes, Sudden British appeared. I can't just switch kind of on the fly whenever I feel like it. Um, I can't do it very well. I still feel like it's quite a bit scuffed, but... I seem to make do as I go. I sound like the average Canadian. So, so if you sound like the average Canadian, you basically just walk around saying maple syrup, hockey, hockey, uh, maple leaf, right? Yeah, no, Russia can F off right now. I say that as a neighbor. Yeah, definitely. Not a... What did I see earlier today? It says, uh, Dear Putin, when even the Taliban... And Switzerland come in to say, you're doing something wrong, you should probably stop. And I'm like, wow, yeah. When the Taliban says you're doing something wrong, that's probably pretty bad. <laughs> like, that's a, that's like Hitler being, all right, dude, that's a little much. Like, yeah, the, that, yeah, that's not good. Yeah, pretty much. Believe it or not, I don't like syrup. And you, how do you... They let you stay in Canada not liking syrup? I thought that would have been like an instant deportation. Wow. I'm, I'm surprised. Okay. Nor do I like hockey. Wow. That's amazing to me. That's the first Canadian I've ever met that doesn't like either of those things. Isn't, isn't it for, like enforced by law that you have to say that, though? Or at least visit a Tim Hortons once a month? I mean, I do like to have it with pancakes and waffles, but not too much. Okay, yeah, that's fair. I mean, I haven't met anybody who doesn't like it with pancakes and waffles. I'll give you that. Uh, we are going to put a spoiler on this card just because I am a spoiler freak. I do love a good spoiler. But we're not going to make it obnoxious. Enforced by law, yeah. Come on, there's always a Tim Hortons around the corner. Yeah, even I can't deny that where I live, there is a Tim Hortons literally within five minutes from my house. And that's pretty bad, because it takes me about three minutes to get out of my trailer park, so. And I promise it's not a trashy, nasty trailer park. I do live in a nice one. This used to be, like, the Senior Citizens trailer park in the town, but they uh, opened it up to everybody, and it because they have a pretty good, like, uh, process of how to go through and, like, vet their uh, their applicants, it's actually really nice people here, so it's pretty cool. Uh, da -da -da -da. Visuals. Okay, here's where we're going to get into making the car look good because I'm getting distracted and this is taking a long time. Just leave them black, do the immediate two tones, and don't touch them. Yes, two tone, baby. And now all we have to do is go back, paint. Ooh, not Matt. Yikes. All right, Koi, what do you think? I dropped the friggin'... Please tell me they didn't come open. I hope the bagels didn't come open. Bagels. Crap, bagels didn't come open. Uh, I don't know how she remembers to do that every time. That must be really hard. Koi, does this paint job suit you now? Is this better? What do we think? Three lives were lost. Ah, oh, Man down. Man down. Press F. Let's put an F in the chat uh, to pay respect to the bagels. Just to be nice. Yep. Just, uh, that, yep. Pay an F. Press F to pay respects. So. All right. But awesome. You do like it. Good. That's what we like to see. So let's actually go out now that I've rigged this car up a little better. Ooh, wheel paint and wind. Yes, window tint. Yep. That's happening. Ooh, dear. Why is it? Oh, no. Dark. I just went dark. There we go. All right. 
And what I'm going to do to the cobalt is the same thing. I'm going to make this a lot faster. Now my cat's eating the bagels. Well, I mean, you can't eat them, so I mean, you may as well give them to him. I'd let him take advantage of it, you know? <sighs> Running the stock engine. Come on. Terrible. There we go. Oh, this is the turbocharged. Oh, no, wait, because... Racing turbocharged. Yeah, so this is the turbocharged SS. Interesting. I never noticed that before. I always thought this was the supercharged SS. No chrome wheel. I know. that. I actually think there's supposed to be chrome, but you got to remember this game was made in 2007, and their idea of realistic graphics, uh, you can see the pixels on the edge of the headlight if you look. And this was their idea of realistic graphics back then. So I do remember this being pretty good for the time, actually. They didn't think that they didn't honestly think it was too bad. I didn't get this. I actually played this game. I'm playing it on 360 now. This tells you how hard my childhood was. I had to play this game on the Wii. Try the PC version someday. I've never played it on PC. I'll have to look for that. But I grew up playing it on the Wii. So yeah, imagine doing Speed Challenge Nevada with a freaking Nerf steering wheel. You know Speed Challenge Nevada. We'll get there eventually. That was a nightmare. I used to have the Wii U. It broke. My only console lost forever. Oh, no. That sucks. I mean, if you like the Wii U, I understand the Switch is supposed to be like the Wii U, but actually really good. Because I heard the Wii U wasn't the best. Uh, but yeah, I'm just, I suppose... I'm Everybody I hear talking about the, uh, the Switch says it's amazing. Those events were hard as is. I can't imagine on the Wii. Yeah, I ended up actually at one point racing Speed Challenge Autobahn Ring 12 times so I had enough money to buy the Lamborghini Murcielago just so I could do Speed Challenge Nevada without wrecking. It should be known a fact I got the pink switch light. Oh, that still counts as a console then, I think. I mean, it's close enough for jazz. I'd say that's a console. And Switch is an amazing console. Yes, I agree. That is good. Lambo is OP for speed. Yes, but the problem is, is it costs way too much money. Lambo's expensive. The Porsche 911 Turbo, on the other hand, is a third of the cost, and it is about 95 to 98% as fast. At this point, I'm going to dye my hair pink. Honestly, if you do the pink hair thing right, it can look pretty cute. Just got to make sure you do it in like a, a good, tasteful way. Uh... I, like I said, you got to do it... If you do it the wrong way, it, it can look wrong sometimes. But if you do it right, it can look really nice. You end up kind of looking like a... Honestly, you end up looking like a, a sailor scout. Only the tips, though, because my hair is way too dark. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, don't just go, like, neon pink hair. Uh, that, that can be a little bit overwhelming. But if you're careful about it, you can do, like I said, okay, like tips or something like that. Or, like, you could have the anime swoosh on one of your bangs. Like, like the Ryuko Matoi hair flip thing. That'd be sick and pink. Even I would do that. Ah. Maybe I can program my cybernetics to go pink. I haven't tried that. I'm not a big, huge fan of pink, usually. Anime swoosh, the scientific term for that. Yes, anime swoosh is the scientific term for that. Uh, I am a Ryuko Matoi stan from now until the day my servos go bad. And I will, I will stake my claim on that. I've cosplayed Ryuko Matoi for sure. Uh, I actually have thought about getting the red anime flip in the front of my hair. Uh, not because of Ryuko, actually, because of Ruby. Uh, from, uh, from Ruby, Ruby Rose. Uh, I've I thought about having, like, some red highlights put in, some, like, dark maroon, but... I don't have the money, the time, or the patience to do that. Can't really do my because my hair is extremely curry, curly. Yeah, that's yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, if you have really curly hair, bangs don't work. I get that. But that curly hair could look cute with the pink tips, though. So that'd be a great way to go. And yes, Ruby, I actually am sitting. I think I said this in debut when you were here. I love that show to bits. Yes, me too. I haven't watched the recent season, but I do love Ruby. It's so much fun. I love the weapons. I am a... I'll, I'll admit to this. I love transformation sequences. Sailor Moon was one of my first animes. I absolutely fell in love with that. I've always loved Power Rangers morphing sequences. Um, so you can see why I love 
action scenes are so delicious. Yes, I miss Monty. <sighs> R.I.P. Man, Monty was the. I think they have. I'm. I am not gonna say that they're terrible, but um, the the fight scenes I think aren't quite as good as when Monty did them. They're just nothing will ever compare. Have I ever seen Simpho Gear? No, I have not. Is it similar? Because if it has dope transformation sequences, I'm interested. Okay, my top five anime all have transformation sequences. Brand new animal, gonna be the twin tail, kill a kill. Ah, uh, what are the other two? Ah, uh, I can't come up with them. Oh, Ruby, because the weapons transform. Because, yes, it's also a gun. It has the transformation sequences. I'm... Ch I have my anime list, and I'm writing this down. Give me just a minute. I need to add this to my list. S-Y-M-P... Whoop, P-H... Sympho Gear. It's like Sci-Fi Sailor Moon. You have my attention. Oh! No, I do have those on my list already, so I must have heard of them from somewhere. But um, now I'm going to be trying to find where I can watch those after stream tonight. I know what anime I'm watching next, because that sounds friggin' sick. Like mystery-ish animes, which is why Erased is one of my all-time faves. Um, interesting. I am not familiar with Erased. Uh, I don't know of many mystery animes. I usually find myself leaning more towards the, uh, uh, yeah, that. What the heck are they called? Oh, like action comedies. Again, like Kill a Kill, action comedy, it's pretty much right up my alley. It's on Netflix, I've watched it like four times. Fair enough, yeah, I've seen Kill a Kill and Gonna Be the Twin Tail like four times too. Promare as well. Again, Studio Trigger. BNA, Kill a Kill, Ger oh, Gurren Lagan, because of all the transformation sequences, that's sick. It's basically idol singers who can transform and fight monsters, kind of dope, and there's loads of good music in that too. Ooh, because I really liked Love Live. So that sounds like... Basically, does uh, Transform and Fight Monsters. So, okay, Darkwing, have you ever seen a show called Girly Air Force? Uh, or Henki Shoujo, the one where the girl drinks out of the gas pump. And yes, I said girl drinks out of gas pump. Um, that You did hear me right on that one. It's it's constantly made a meme of. I have seen all four episodes of Hanky Shoujo, and it is some strange, strange stuff. It, they're only like two or three minute shorts, but man, they're bizarre. It, it, that is an amazing plot line. Yes, I agree. I definitely want to check that out. I, like I said, I know what I'm watching after, after stream. My cat wants to steal my bagels. He's not leaving me alone. Yeah, that sounds like a cat. I think your cat is doing cat things normally. Oh, God. I didn't realize that was changing the color of that. Yikes. No, no. I want changing color of car paint. Let us go with... There are five seasons now, I think, for Simpho Gear. Heck yeah! Five seasons. That's my length of anime. Ooh! What do we think about the orange? I'm digging the orange. He's yelling at me. Yell back! That's my, that's my solution. That's easy. I'm actually gonna check that out. Yeah, me too. That sounds sick. Because I do love some good anime. Digging it. Love the color. Sweet. We're keeping that. Uh, wheel paint. Let's see if we can actually go chrome. Maybe I can make these more chromish. Hey, how about that? All right. Now that's more like chrome. Good solution. Thank you. Yes. That's more like it. Now we're talking. Window tint. Dark. Black. Yes. And I think I need to go and modify my stock wheels. Looking fancy. Yes, thank you. This is my secret to making cars in this game look somewhat decent. Plus, you can do this to them, which really helps. Don't worry, I'm not leaving them that bad. Shady Windows. Yes. Sponsored by Eminem. I've heard of Shady Records, but you've never heard of Shady Windows. Eminem, sponsor me. Whoops. Ooh, yikes. No, 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 no. She. <laughs> yeah, wow. <laughs> oh, like he's ever going to see this. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't complain. That'd be sick, you know. Hey, sponsored by Eminem. I mean, I'll take Eminem or the candy. I don't care. That'd be dope either way. <laughs> Yo, Marshall, yeah. 
Look, I know you're normally with Snoop Dogg, but there's this kid out in the middle of nowhere streaming on Twitch to like six people. <laughs> he could really use some help. <laughs> Plot twist. My back door just blows down all ears. Hi, my name is what? My name is who? <laughs> The answer to which is chicken, chicken, slim, shady. <laughs> this is how my brain works. I am sorry for those of you listening because I'm random as hell sometimes and I have no shame over that. No, no, not the references. <laughs> oh, yeah, the references. Yo, AE86! I forgot that was in this game. No, you do. I am the same way. Oh, no, do you. I'm the same way. Okay, cool. It's nice to know I've met other like-minded people, because... And, and I, IRL, I've not met many people like me, and I've met so many people on the internet who have the same experience I do of not being normal, we'll say. You know, having that little bit of the off-the-wall sense of humor. It's really refreshing. Scatterbrains unite. Yes. I have said this, I put it in my debut stream, uh, which you can find now on YouTube. It's on my YouTube channel, so... Uh, but yeah, I put it in my debut stream. There's a Calvin and Hobbes comic. Uh, I'm not stupid, I just have a command of thoroughly useless knowledge. That's why we're here on the net. Yes, exactly. That's exactly why we're here on the net. I mean, at least I finally memorized how to rap Lose Yourself. Yes, I actually heard that on the radio today. It was sick. I love here. I... I like hearing it. I hate that I'm hearing it on the oldies channel that my dad listens to at work. That I don't appreciate because it makes me feel old. Uh, I can actually do the entirety of Nat, uh, the fast part of it. What is it? Uh, and I'm still totally inappropriate with an opiate groping while I'm holding it like a trophy. I'm hoping a little codeine to give me Odie and whoa, everything's slow. I begin to floating and I know they're loaded. The pin exploded. The roshi with the flows of utopia with the dope. I'm an OG. I'm going to hit a goat. Yeah, I'm tongue tied. Jeez, that's bad. Oldies. Yes, oldies. Uh, which, unfortunately, is 80s and 90s on that. Guys, he's summoning a demon. Yeah, uh, yes, that is, uh, that is pretty much what I was trying to do there. Uh, I actually am decent at singing. I was a uh, national choral award in high school, so I actually was going to, me and Kamiko are planning to do a uh, collaboration song some, at some point. Uh, I'm not going to say what song, obviously, but uh, we are going to do a song at some point, so karaoke collab? Yeah, I'd be, that'd be down. That'd be sick. That'd be fun. Uh, we'd, of course, it'd be hard to do karaoke. Uh, we'd have to find songs that are not uh, copyright, which could be difficult, uh, but I'd be totally down for that. I just realized I'm sitting sideways in my chair. My tracking can't keep up with me. I can move now. <laughs> That's what I get for slouching. And give me a minute while I chug this entire 12-ounce can of Mountain Dew. I'm not actually going to do that because that would... Oh, God, yeah. What's that video? Can you drink an entire can of sparkling water and not burp? Like, yeah, no, I'm not going to do that to you guys. <laughs> I did drink about a third of it, though. ASMR. I mean, we can go that way if you want to, but it's kind of awkward. Someone clipped that for educational purposes. Oh, God, here we go again. Last time I got clipped, it was for something I shouldn't have said. I get the feeling I'm on this path again, so I'm not going to talk. Uh, I'm, I'm, let's change the subject before I do something stupid. Oh, around the outside on the Charger. Come up the outside on the Acura as well. Yeah. Oh, come on, dude. Steer into my door, why don't you? God, I would love to drive this track in real life. Willow Springs is... Actually, all of the tracks in this game are real places. And I would love to drive some of them in real life. So cool. Same dude? Yes. Yes, exactly. Uh, I actually, I have been, I can't say, of course, to what track, uh, but I have been to an official, like, IndyCar track before. So cool. I didn't get to watch the IndyCar. They had a different kind of racing. I think it was, like, IMSA racing that day, but it was really, really cool. Still sad about how you, how you said, how you thought I said your drawing were shit. 
Oh, yeah, please don't be sad about that. No, I thought that was funny as hell. <laughs> she, uh, she said something about, uh, your drawing is good, shut up, but it came, I uh, said something about your drawing is, your drawing is good, or shit, or, I forget exactly how it happened. Oh, no, that's what it was, yeah, she said they were pretty, and she meant to say shut up, but it auto-corrected her to just shit, so I read it as, yeah, they're pretty shit, and <laughs> I was dying, that was hysterical. It said pretty sh oh no, that's what it was, pretty shut, yes. Because I read it wrong, because it meant shut up. Yes, I'm read it as pre now I'm remembering. I have, the again, attention span. Corey and I were talking about this last night when I played Scarlet Nexus. Uh, yeah, that was, my memory span is not great. But yeah, please don't feel bad about that, because I look back at that and think, yeah, that was funny as crap. Um, I, I mean, yeah, it's probably not the best thing to happen, but yeah, it was funny as crap. Attention span of a goldfish, yes. Why are we talking about attention spans, though? Considering I'm a fish. Yes, exactly. Oh, boy. I'm reading chat and going off-road. I will say, how did in 2007, how did Need for Speed get game sounds better than Playground Games and Forza Horizon 4 in 2018? Excuse me, anybody have answers for that? Because this car sounds legitimately better than the same car in a game that's 11 years newer. Alright, what's the sound effect from those old, uh, uh, like, Need for Speed arcade cabinets you played at Chuck E. Cheese? Because NFS is since... Oh, crap, I'm reading chat. It's because NFS is since 90s. Yeah, that'd be fair. Alright, I'm going to get my announcer voice on. Nitrous. Oh, boy. There we go. Yeah, I think... Well, my problem is, is that NFS games, since Pro Street, this was the last great one. You've never been to Chuck E. Cheese? Yo. Uh, I think it's actually Chuck... Like, E is the middle, and Cheese. Because isn't it like Charles Entertainment Cheese is his full name or something? It's really dumb. I don't know, but... Uh... But yeah, you they used to have an arcade cabinet of life. Oh no, it was Fast and Furious of this, is what it is. Uh, Ch oh, Chuck E. Cheese is a thing that went out of business here in America. Uh, you What it was was like a big arcade. Uh, you Basically, parents bring their kids in. They, you know, they buy a pizza and sit at a table or whatever. And then the kids go off into this giant arcade and play while the parents sit around and talk. Uh, is there still one in Toronto? I thought they were all out of business. But yeah, there was, uh, they had a mascot of, like, this... Okay, Five Nights at Freddy's is based on Chuck E. Cheese. Like, uh, Fazbear Pizza deal, whatever it's called, that's based on what a Chuck E. Cheese is like, except uh, it's got, like, a big arcade in it and stuff that was... And obviously less murder, but that's... Yes, they looked creepy. Yes, the animatronics they had, they actually did have animatronics that would, like, form a little band on the stage and whatever. They were freaky, dude. I hated them. But I spent all of my tokens playing the, the Fast and Furious game, and I would win that thing constantly. And then I was always good at skee-ball, too. But yeah, it's basically, if you've, ne if you've never been to a Chuck E. Cheese, think uh, Five Nights at Freddy's, but during the day and no murder. That is Chuck E. Cheese. Alright, we won a few thousand bucks. They gave a little coy night. No, that's, yeah... I, they definitely would give you nightmares. That is some messed up stuff. Oh, Bradley Hunter from Aftermix. How long has it been since you heard that name? Wow. Lol, I see. Yes, that's exactly... Band leader is a rat instead of a bear. Well, yeah, that too, obviously. It's not identical, but it's based on that. It's kind of like how the... It's, it's very much based on... Five Nights at Freddy's is based on Chuck E. Cheese in the same way that the movie Chop Kick Panda is based on the movie Kung Fu Panda. It's pretty... Like I said, minus the murder, it's pretty much the same thing. And in case you were wondering, yes, Chop Kick Panda. Real movie that they had. It was terrible. Oh, car looks so much better now. Big... Oh, I forgot to do the wheels right. I think I screwed up. Oh, well. Chop Kick Panda. Yeah, it was a it was a Kung Fu Panda knockoff that released the same summer. 
Yeah, it was like a dollar store special. It was sketch. Oh, max grip. This is going to be a good run. I've seen pictures. It looks bad. Yes. Oh, I missed the shift. Woo! We got faster. Vroom, vroom. Yes. We went fast that time. And I missed a shift, too, which was bad. I can go faster than that. But look how much it helped. I was running 13 O's with this car. I have put no more power or grip into it. It's the same car, but now we're running almost two tenths of a second faster, just thanks to aerodynamics, which means the car will cut through a hole through the air better, making it more efficient. Uh, fun fact, you can do this to your real car to gain fuel mileage in real life. If you use masking tape to cover all the cracks in your hood uh, that meet it to the body and stuff like that, uh, you'll look like an idiot, but you will get better gas mileage on long trips. Whatever you do, don't cover the grill. You will overheat the car. I should test it on my parents' cars then. Yeah, probably wouldn't recommend it unless you wanted them to be like, why are you ruining our car? Oh, no, not today, sunshine. Crap, I missed the shift again. Bye-bye, have a good time. <laughs> I really wish I had sound alerts. It'd be so fun. I will say, there are actually really stupid things you can do to get better gas mileage. Like, making sure your tire pressure's all the way uh, where it's supposed to be. Ignore what the car says, and look at what the tire says. Most car companies set their tire pressure on your door sticker for comfort. Tire companies put it on the side of the tire for maximum pressure. Run it between, you'll get better fuel mileage, and you won't really sacrifice much in ride quality. Kind of a fun fact you can do, and you'll get better mileage. I have an 87 uh, Pontiac Fiero GT, and I am able to get 30 plus miles to the gallon of that car. Crap, I false started. I didn't time it right because I'm talking. Yeah, well, I won anyways, no big. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, I don't know if you guys could hear that, but that was a really good neck crack. Uh, even the cybernetics get a little stiff sometimes. <sighs> crack, you could hear that? Cool. I was curious if that would echo through the mic or not. Oh yeah, check this out. These are the cars we're going after. The BMW of the Grip King Ray Krieger. That M3 E, M3 e 92 The Ford Mustang of Carol Monroe. Nate Denver, the Speed King's GTO. And Aki Kimura's FD RX7. Sick cars. I can crack my nose oddly. That's I've never heard anybody cracking their nose. Interesting. Okay, now I know it says I won, but I didn't actually win. Because you, winning is stage one. Each race day, you can actually dominate. If you break it, it will crack. Yes, that's fair. But I meant like actually popping it without breaking it. Woo, five grand. Let's go. Continue race day. We don't just win these. We dominate them. Yeah, I don't care if it's damaged. I'm still going to win. I don't think I've lost a race in this game in a really long time. Unless I'm trying a new car and it doesn't work. Like cars I know work? Yeah, piece of cake. Alright, we're running group A. By two playthroughs or two streams for now. I want to be running group B, no problem. Sick, Bernies. Oh, that, that 67 GT500 sounds good. Yes, that was me clicking my triggers. Um, if you click the triggers in the right pattern, you can actually do a burnout on the line, which you saw me do just there. Uh-oh. Woo, four-wheeling. Give me a truck. Don't worry if they're ahead for now. They won't be for long. Look at Wade Jackson off into the... Woo! He's way out in the middle of nowhere. Man set his GPS for 
God knows where. Not the finish line. Wait, oh yeah, that's Wade. That's Wade Jackson, isn't it? I think I said the wrong name the first time. But yes, he is a absolute madman. I did that on purpose. I want those tires out of my way because they're in the way of my racing line on the next lap. I'm already ahead, so we're fine. And so are you. Yes. No, I did that on purpose, though. That was that was done on purpose. And no, I'm not just saying that. I really do want to run that close to the wall there. And here comes the Group B cars. Get your fat Chevelle out of my racing line. I'm going to apex you so hard, bro. Come on. How is he turning that fast in that big hog? That car does not go that fast. Bull crap. A 240SX cannot be out-cornered by a 60s muscle car. That was a very fancy insult, so yes, thank you. Uh, I, if there's one thing I can do, it, uh, it is... Oops, yep, see what I mean? <laughs> Tires are in my way. Come on. Catch that Chevelle. God, he's just got four more cylinders than I do. I cannot make the power down on him. He's so much faster. There's no way he should be able to out... Oh, God, and here comes the Challenger. Get out of my way! I get you're faster than me on the straights, but on the corners, I can out-corner you, Sunshine. Get out of my racing line. <sighs> Get apexed, bozo. I love, I can keep up with the Group B cars pretty much as well as I can with the A-class car. Or with the Group A car, which is way, way slower. Nice, that was a little better. That time I didn't need the corner because I got the E-brake on. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I'm 10 seconds ahead of second place. And I want to run outside of these barriers because I cannot get it to turn that sharp. Ah, too much straight line power. Dang it. My mirror's hanging on for dear life over here. Come on. I don't even care what I won there. Not worried about that. Okay. I just realized I never turned my BGM back on. That's better. It's not the best racing music, but it gets the job done. Come on, there we go. I'm fast enough I can click the right buttons, but they're not good enough. Let's see what we can do now. Oh, God. So I am outclassed by almost... So the guy in the Dale Bennett in that Charger has almost four times as much power as I do. And I should be able to beat him. Because he can't turn. All right, let's see. Oh, God, that's stupid. Same cars. Come on. I keep wanting to shift like it's Forza, and I know it's not. Vroom, vroom, yes. Vroom, vroom, go fast. That's exactly what I'm doing right now. Actually, I'm doing vroom, vroom, go fast in circle. Come on. Push it, little KA24DE. That is actually the engine code for this car. This is a KA24DE engine from Nissan Motor Corporation. Five-speed manual transmission paired to it. KA being the engine code, 24 being 2.4 liters of engine displacement. Uh, D and E being dual overhead camshaft and electronic fuel injection. In case you were curious. But the SR20 DET. Yes, but the SR20 was in the... Uh, it was not in the... Uh, I was in the 240, but it would have been actually in the 180SX from Japan on the right-hand drive stuff. Not the uh, SR20 in America. This is an American version. And I know that because I drive, it says 240SX instead of 180. 
Weirdly enough, in the Euro market car, it was a 200 SX, and those had a CA18 DET in it. So the KA24 DE, and this is actually the only non-turbo engine that they made. Not US motor, yes. Unfortunately. I mean, they could have swapped it over. I don't know. The thing is, this engine... I'll, oh, no, that's how I know it's not. Down on my uh, speedometer, do you see how it's only one circle? Turbocharged cars have a second boost gauge on, in this game. So since it doesn't have that gauge, I know it's the KA24 because I don't have a turbo. Plus, you'd hear uh, turbo noises every time I let off the throttle. Which actually is a thing in this game, Phil, remember? Oh, boy. Ooh, just a little bit of uh, love tap in the wall there. Do a jump. Come on. Oof, hit the wall there, too. E-brake! There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright, now that I've done my flying lap, now I use both shots of nitrous on the same lap, and we go for the best time. We're already down to 114. I'd like to break into the 110s. Uh, the S chassis I had had a 3-inch Godsnow catback and twin Y-pipe headers. It was so loud you could hear me from over two miles away. My mom actually clocked me one time uh, to see how long I drove, and she called me. She's like, I just now heard lost uh, lost an ear on you. Where are you at? And I'm like, yeah, I'm two miles away. That car was obnoxious. I miss it. It was so much fun. I so want that car back. It's so cool. Come on. Now, nitrous, go. I gotta be careful since I'm running faster. I can't hit the jump. Or you will total your car out. That might just get me down to the 110s. Come on. This corner is so always off camber. You can't make it go any faster. Oh, I'm not going to break 110. I might not break 114. Oh, no, I'm going to get 112. We're good. Phew. All right, that was a good race. I want to get to a point where I can buy another car so we can have some more fun with this and do some more... I really want to do drift racing, if I'm honest. I want to do drifting. That's what I want to get to tonight, is drifting. And I've still got plenty of time. It's only 9.30. <laughs> Ooh, stage one nitrous. Thank you for that. That doesn't help. Repair using marker or cash. Uh, we'll use a marker. I have a free one anyways. Why not? I try not to use the markers too much if I can pay cash. All right. Let's go. Do we want to run Portland or Chicago? Both. Uh, one's on an airfield. The other's on an actual proper racetrack. I'm thinking probably Chicago has another drag. Oh, no. Portland actually has more drag racing and less circle, which is going to be faster. I want to fly again. Oh, from Forza. Unfortunately, I can't do that in this game. Uh, there aren't many. R there are ramps. But nor you can't do it and continue to drive. You die, so it doesn't work very well. Uh, but next time we play Forza, I will I, we will fly again many, many times. I promise. We'll do a Danger Sign game or something. That would be fun. Uh, if you Butterball, I don't think you were here for that. Uh, we went into Forza Horizon 5, and I hit the airstrip jump in the Koenigsegg Yesco at 295 miles an hour, and we, threw a, we flew over 3,000 feet, which is about 3 miles, I believe. Yes, uh, 1,000, no, 5,280 feet or 1,800, so about two miles, excuse me. Yeah, we flew about two miles in the air. Uh, it was great. Yeah, we almost met Koi's relatives because we almost landed in the sea. I tried to drive out to see him, but the game reset me, so. Uh, oh, Koi, when we play, uh, when we play beam.ng drive and, uh-oh, my controller came disconnected. When we play BeamNG.Drive and Automation, we will actually get to go meet your, uh... We will actually get to meet your relatives because electric cars in that game can drive underwater against all common sense. They actually will drive underwater. So we can actually drive a, a car as a submarine and go see your relatives. 
I gotta get a second monitor before we can play that, though. Because right now I can only play really console games and have chat up on my screen. Uh, I need to figure out how to have two monitors, and I don't have that right now. My PC buddy's gonna help me with that. Oh, yes, we have the half-mile drag race. Finally! We finally get to break out some, uh, some speed here. I really... Oh! Hey, thanks for following, Butterball. Appreciate it. That's the first time I've really got to see that online, because last time I had my slideshow up. Thank you. I've, that's the first time I've actually seen my animation on stream. That's uh, on stream. I always missed it on the debut stream because it was uh, I was on my slideshow. That's so cool. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. I'm glad you think I deserve it. That's awesome. I'm just trying to do my thing and having fun. That's uh, That was my plan from the start, was have fun, do my thing, be myself, and hopefully have it pay off. So I'm glad you're enjoying it, and welcome to the boosters. That's what I call you guys, by the way, just so you know. Uh. Never stop doing that. Will do. That debut stream is amazing, especially Violet. Yeah, Violet is, uh... She likes having some fans. She's been telling me that in my head recently. She's like, she likes how people are appreciating her a little more. Uh, it's I always try to show her some appreciation and stuff, don't get me wrong, but she likes that more people know about her, because before it was just me, and now more people know who she is. She likes that. God, I got beat by Joe Tackett. That's embarrassing. Yeah, I'll make sure to never stop doing that, though. That's my plan, is to just be myself. Have fun. You know what, if, if, it, if I'm going to talk about cars, I'm going to talk about cars, and that's... I'm going to talk about whatever, I'm going to talk about whatever, I'm not going to hold back. It's the beauty of being a VTuber. It's like, yeah, I can I can pretty much do what I want to and just have fun. Yo, I think I still got it. Got what? Oh, crap. You mean the clip? Oh, Dem Racing Skills, yeah. Yeah, if you've got some racing skills, dig them out, man. Have some fun. Nobody plays these kind of games on stream, I notice. Everybody plays, like, FPS games and stuff, which I get they're fun, but... Man, branch out. Let's try some new stuff. Go retro on... Like, nobody plays 360-era racing games. Uh, not or at least not many. Nobody plays GameCube racing games. I'm only good with arcade racing games. That's okay. Arcade racing games can be fun, too. You'd like the newer Need for Speed games, then, actually, Koi, because their, their driving engine has switched over. Every game has a physics and driving engine for racing, and the driving engine is how the car behaves to your inputs. Personally, I hate Need for Speed's new style. I don't like the way it works. Uh, I just I don't like how drifty and slidey it is. But if you like racing games that are arcadey, you would absolutely adore the new Need for Speed games. I'm not going to beat Joe Flippin' Tackett. That's embarrassing. Yay, pre-driving test, I guess? Yes. Actually, uh, this is the game I learned how to drive on in terms of, like, drifting and stuff. This game is what taught me how to drift. And I'm actually a... Well, for a while, back in college, I was trying to become a professional Formula Drift driver. I was looking into what it would take to become a professional uh, Formula Drifter. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to do it. Uh, cost too much money, but I was looking into it, and it was all because of this game that I'm playing right now. I, that's why I want to get to the drifting so bad, is this 240SX that I have is one of the best drift cars in the game if you build it right. Grip race. Now, nah, let's do the quarter mile drag now. I love this game now. Oh, yeah, that's, uh, it, it's definitely, uh, it's definitely fun, but you've got to be, uh, open to like if you're not into cars or you don't have an, an interest in learning about them or anything i mean you got to have at least some interest in cars all right i'm gonna crash it's getting late have fun yeah no problem thanks for hanging out darkwing i know it's like really late for you over there in latvia i'm gonna say it right this time so uh yeah i appreciate you hanging out as long as you did uh sleep well and have a good night hopefully we'll catch you again in the next one sometime Come on, baby! Yes, we edged him out. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Uh, did we win? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. First place. That's what we like to see. Alright, Koi, that leaves the moderating up to you, so... You don't really have to do anything, just if we get a bot or something, you can ban them if you want. Obviously, don't ban new people, but if for some reason we have, like, well, you remember at the debut stream when we had that guy come in, hey, get free followers, do this and that or whatever. Yeah, if we get somebody like that, putting on my big boy pants for this. Yes, like I said, not a big deal, but if we get somebody like that, you should be able to ban them for me if you want. But you're my active mod now, so do your thing. Which probably will just be what you've been doing, so don't worry about it too much. <laughs> you said I've got the power, and all I read that was from the old song. Well, I've got the power! <laughs> oh, crap, I missed. I hit my shifter, and it didn't go. Come on. Yeah, that was a terrible drag run. Wow. That was absolutely awful. Okay. Let's see if we can time the light up. I want to be right on this one here. Hey, Butterball. Uh, quick question. Did you know the announcer for Battle Machine, the guy that you're hearing in the back, J-Mac? He is actually, that's actually Jared DeAnda. The official uh, spokes guy of, like, the official call announcer for Formula Drift in real life. Just kind of an interesting fact I happen to know. I remember watching Formula Drift for the first time, and I'm like, why am I hearing J-Mac? I'm like, holy crap, that's the same guy. That's so cool. 13-0, baby, let's go. God, that's so slow. I can run, like, half that. It's so hard to run in drag race in this game. I forgot. I've had the stream on my phone this whole time. Wow, I really like my stream quality. That comes through really clear. That's awesome. I don't get to see my stream much because I'm on the other side of it. That's awesome. Five grand cash again. Let's go. We gotta get that money. Oh, uh, anybody ever does anybody know the song Save That Money by Little Dicky? I love that song. So good. I love he made that entire music video for like virtually nothing. It was like five hundred bucks I think he had in the whole music video. It was so cool. Alright, we're dead last on the power rankings. Haha. <laughs> Yeah, I was wondering, I'm like, eh, that's, uh, it sounds like an innuendo, but it's really not. It's just his name. Boogity, 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 boys, let's go racing at Portland. I grew up watching NASCAR. Go up the outside of the Cobalt. Up the outside of this Mustang. Cobalt comes back through. We're going to outbreak all of these yokels. Come on. Oh, I was up on two wheels. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was that? What do you mean, what was that? I don't know. I'm. Are you talking about what I said, innuendo? Or is that what you don't. Is that a word you're not familiar with? Or is it talking about something else? Because I know a lot of people may not know that word. That's kind of an oddball. The whole thing you did before you started. Uh, oh, the burnout deal? Is that what you're talking about? How I did a big burnout while everybody else was sitting still? Yes, yeah, that is a button combination I figured out. It's kind of a... It's not a cheat code, per se, but because if you... The car sits in neutral while you're on the start line, so you're just revving your motor. Well, I found out if you if you click the button from back to... F if you click the reverse and then drive... Or, yeah, the brake button, which is also reverse, and then shift it back into f uh, forward again with the right trigger, it actually engages first gear and you do a big smoky burnout. There's an accident that I found one time, uh, and I liked it so much, I use it all the time now. 
Kind of interesting. Get right out on those rumble strips. Yes! You hold the power now? Yes. Oh, are you have do you have to leave? No, okay. Oh, you just meant I hold the power because I'm in the lead, right? You said I have the power earlier when I told you you were active mod. Uh, I thought that's what you meant was that you had to leave, so I was active mod now. Okay, that makes more sense than talking about me being in the lead. Cool. Two conversations of similar nature going on at the same time. Nitrous! I wonder, do I still have my announcer voice? Yes, I do. The, the only thing I can do in that voice is uh, the... This is a certified hood classic. That's like all I have in the announcer voice anymore. I don't have it much. My my vocal cords won't take the abuse. <laughs> I can do just like a normal booming announcer voice all the time. But it's really hard to maintain and I don't like doing it because I have to talk in a weird timbre. Should have been in radio. I think that would have been fun. It's actually kind of, one of another reason I wanted to start Twitch streaming was that I, uh, when I started VTubing, I, I had always wanted to be like a, a weatherman, actually. Sounds like a hockey announcer. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm going for is like the, uh, like the, oh, the big booming announcer voice from like sports arenas, you know, like the, from like a boxing or, you know, please welcome your home team, the Toronto Maple Leafs or whatever, but. I always thought it'd be really cool to have, like, uh, uh, yeah, what? I'm trying to think. Like, uh, be on weather or TV or whatever. I always thought that'd be fun. Do, like, weatherman or be a radio DJ. I always thought that'd be really, really fun. But, alas, I never did anything with it, and I became an auto mechanic instead. The world may never know why. All right, we won good, though. Ottawa sends her dog water. It's disappointing. Yeah, I don't follow hockey enough to know if they're any good or not. I just know that Toronto Maple Leafs is a team. Uh, I'm familiar with, of course, like the... Oh, what is it? It's the Philadelphia Flyers, I think, isn't it? Or is that the baseball team? No, the, F the Phillies are the baseball team, so the Flyers should be Philly. Uh, the Pittsburgh Penguins, I know. The Columbus Blue Jackets. Uh... Isn't it? There, there's a New York team as well, I think. I can't remember what. But that's about all I know of hockey. I really don't keep up on it much. Oh, the Las Vegas Golden Knights. I know that one as well. Uh, past that, I really don't have much hockey knowledge. I just don't know. Something I'm not familiar with, hockey. It is uh, it is a benign thing to me. I'm unfamiliar. I'm only coming up with baseball names because I played t-ball when I was younger. That's fair. Yeah, it's about what sport... Like, I could name, like... 10 professional bowlers and you'd never heard of any of them but in terms of like I can't remember 10 different uh yeah 10 different names of oh what are they uh the hockey teams I got cars in my head hockey is not crap my controller came disconnected again I cannot do hockey and cars at the same time my brain breaks all I could think of was Wow, I'm hot right now. This room, the P the PC makes this room so hot. Professional, there's always been professional bowlers. They have, uh, they had professional bowling, the PBA Tour, professional professional bowlers association. They've had the PBA Tour since the, I think it's the 70s or 80s. No, even before that. Andy Verapapa was a pro way back in like the 50s and 60s. They have they, professional bowling has been around a very long time. The uh, current reigning uh, best bowler in the world is the two-hander pro Jason Belmonte. He's Australian, but dude is mad talented. He's got the skills to pay the bills. I'm partial to Kyle Troop myself. He has a big afro and wears crazy colored clothes. He's fun. The more you know, yes. The more you know. It's that. Uh, the, the the de -de 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 meme. Yeah, I know that one. They use that one a lot on Donut Media on YouTube. It's a car channel. They're fun. 
If you want to learn more about Cars Koi, I highly recommend checking out their Up to Speed series. Yeah, it, it's uh, that's their entire, that's the whole point of the video. The guy comes on, he says, you know, this is everything you need to know to get up to speed on the Chevrolet Corvette or, you know, okay, the, the Chevy Cobalt SS because I'm looking up the tailpipe one right now. Um, or, you know, the Ford F-150, whatever. They're really interesting and you can learn a lot. If you want to learn how to work on your own stuff too, they have another show called Hilo where they work on cars and make them faster. My dad's a mechanic. He never tells me this, SMH. Oh, yeah, if your dad's a mechanic, just ask him if you want to learn how to work on cars or at least learn a little bit about them. They're an amazing, amazing piece of machinery. It's it's a wonder some of these cars work at all with how much tech's in them. But yeah, just ask him. He'll probably be happy to teach you. I know I have friends come to me wanting to learn how about their cars, and it's like, yes, please, let me teach you. The more you know about cars, the more you can appreciate how they work and the more you appreciate how much they really need maintenance. Like, there's nothing more painful to me than seeing somebody neglecting an oil change. You've got to keep the oil changed and stuff on them. That's really important. I've I've been a, a car fanatic since I was a little kid. My dad's taken me to classic car shows. He actually has a car he puts in them, and now so do I. Uh, but we've been in classic car shows, for, and we've been going since I was probably five. Maybe even younger than that. I was probably there as a toddler, and I just don't remember We've always been into that. It's insane. It's so much fun, though. I really enjoy it. Come on. Nitrous, let's go. Last lap. Let's put down the fastest lap time we can. <sighs> I'm going to get in the zone and try to focus up here. I'm not going to read chat for a minute, Koi, so if you say if you send something, it's going to be a minute until I'm done with this lap. I'm going to focus real hard. I just see a message pop up in the corner of my eye, but I'm not going to read it. I'm going to focus on the lap time. Damn it, I read it. All my mom took me to was Disney on Ice. Eh, that's still fun, though. Disney on Ice is dope. I've never been personally. I'm not a big fan of, like, musicals and plays and stuff. But Disney on Ice is still cool for kids. My parents did a lot of stuff for us that was really cheap but really fun. You can go see classic car shows. They're all over the country, uh, probably in Canada, too. Uh, you can go completely for free and just check out the cars. Sometimes some have admission, but usually it's only, like, 10 or 15 bucks. And you can see some amazing pieces of equipment. There's some very beautiful cars. Just whatever you do, don't touch them. Never touch another man's car to car show. They get very pissy about that. It's definitely a level of respect thing. I've got like thousands of videos of Tiny Me. That's sick. My parents didn't take videos, but I probably have thousands of pictures. My mom had a digital camera that she absolutely loved, and she wanted to make sure she documented our childhood with photographic accuracy. And she did just so. It's cool, though, getting to see myself as a kid. I was a stupid little kid. I definitely have, uh... I'm glad I grew up, because... Uh, I did some stupid stuff as a kid. Uh, not da dangerous, just dumb. I looked derpy when I was a baby. Weirdly enough, I was actually... I, I The older I've got, the, the uglier I've got, unfortunately. Um, as a kid, I was actually, like, as a very, as a baby, I was like a Gerber baby. I had, like, the cutie little round face, and, yeah, then as I got older, it, it got worse and worse and worse, and, uh, well, there's a reason I'm a VTuber and not a flesh tuber. Let's put it that way. <laughs> All right, so I told my sister, I'm like, you know, I can be a VTuber, and I don't have to show my ugly mug. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about that. Maybe someday you'll get to see me, Koi. I don't know. I don't know if I'm ever gonna... I, I know I'm never gonna do a public face reveal, but maybe I'll show you an old picture someday. I can't promise you that, but maybe. But it'll only be for you, and if you leak it, I will be upset. So, I know you won't do that, though. Maybe. Yeah, maybe, yeah. We'll, we'll find out. I don't know. I'm not comfortable. I won't. No, I know you won't. As soon as I said that, I'm thinking, no, it's Koi. Of course she's not going to do that. I'm just thinking ahead of, like, I don't want it leaked. No, but it's Koi. She's not going to do that. Uh, oh, here we go. ASMR. That was my cam crushing. 
That sounded terrible, didn't it? I don't know how to do ASMR. I don't even know. I, I, I've actually never watched my ears. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I thought that might not be great. I had to try, though. I wanted to see if it would work. It was it really that bad? I apologize if it was. I was trying not to make it too bad. Metal can crunching apparently not good on stream. Noted. I won't do that again. God, I have to put a fan in this room or something. I am dying in here. For some reason, my PC makes this room about six degrees hotter just from cooling itself. And my body heat doesn't help that. Not entirely, but still kind of painful. Okay, my apologies. I won't do that again. I'm thinking, ooh, cool, metal can, I'll crush that and it'll sound funky on stream like when I drink. Uh, apparently not, so my apologies, I didn't know. Hey, you gotta try it somehow to learn, right? Oh boy. Hoo hoo hoo, about to hit the wall. We're cutting the corner. Ooh, that one hurt. Is it cheating? Probably. Do I care? Nope. Game doesn't stop me, which means it's playable. This car does make quite good noise. Personally, I'd ram everyone off the road for sabotage. You can, but in this game, your car takes a lot of damage, so you don't necessarily want to do that, or you will end up just completely ruining your car. And that really doesn't bode well. Alright, I gotta get this. Will Jackson holds this sector record right now. I gotta get this sector record back, and then I get 500 bonus points. So what we're gonna do... Uh... Yes! There we go. Sector record broken, 322. Dominated all sectors, 500 points. Let's go, baby. Come on. Now let's break some more sector records again. Shift, you piece of crap. Missed by six points. And we're certainly not breaking this one off in the mud. Come on, come on! Cheering in the BG? Uh, you mean like, cheering in the background? Oh yeah, that's the, uh, every time, if you watch, that cheering happens every time I go past a crowd of people next to the track. So it's quiet right now, it's quiet right now, but see the stands coming up on my right? And cheering. There it goes. Yay! There's more cheering, there's more cheering. And it's gone. Yeah, it was pretty innovative for being almost 15 years ago now. I can't believe this game's 15 years old. Yeah, for 15 years ago, it was actually pretty advanced at the time. There's another sector record. Oh, God. Whoa, wasn't ready for that. I went to shift down gears because I'm used to playing Forza. <laughs> I forgot that was change view in this game. That scared the crap out of me. Yes, got that one too. Yeah, but that was a really cool feature back in the day. I thought that was really cool. Because here, there's another group of people on the left. And they're gone. And I do love the cars. Really sound good in this game. There's more people, and they're gone. Oh, boy. I cut those corners because they actually let me cut the corners. There's no penalty for doing it. And it's actually faster. Nice. I win. I've won every sector like five times, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. that was a, that was a handy win there uh, at 3,500 points. Next opponent had 700. Uh, I, think, I think we won that race by a lot. Cool part about this one is I actually get to keep one of the cars I run. So that was one of the cars I could choose to keep. That black one you're seeing right there in the foreground. Uh, the other one I can keep is this one. The Golf GTI. I can keep either one of those. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Now, I do have to win. I have to say that. See this up here, Race Day Progress? Points to Dominate. I have 20, I need 29,523 to win. I currently have 8277. So it started out at 
Uh, 38,000 points is what I had to know. Whatever, yeah. You get my point. There's a certain score I had to win. Or I have to hit to win. Once I do, then I get a car. Oh, look at this. Record on the bottom up here, right above my right hand on the mouse. Record Ray Krieger. That is the Grip King himself. If I beat that score, it counts towards unlocking uh, the ability to race him later in the game. You have to beat his record ten times to unlock him. And the same for all of the other kings, except the main one. You have to beat all of their records ten times except the Showdown King. Uh, the Showdown King, you have to beat all of the showdowns in the game, uh, which there are three of them, and they're the main progression points of the game to where you upgrade to... Well, okay, right now you can see in the background, we're at Battle Machine. This is the lowest racing tier in the game. Once we graduate, which should be after this, we'll get to go to a showdown. The showdown will take us in, we, we can win that, and then we graduate up to the next biggest racing series, React Team Sessions. I'm hoping to get there by the end of the day today, which means I need to get racing. However, I'm taking the 350Z, the Z33, because it is better. Graduation. No, not that kind of graduation. Not that kind of graduation. We get to upgrade uh, to the next racing series. Not graduate. We're not doing that. Ah. Finally got the piece of chicken that was stuck between my teeth after dinner. It's been driving me nuts all night. I had some really good uh, homemade fried chicken. Or not like fried chicken, but like grilled, uh, it's like grilled breaded chicken. So good. Just chicken breast, dip them in egg, roll them around in some bread, uh, or some bread crumbs, and uh, fry them up in some, uh, uh, yeah, some extra virgin olive oil. So good. And yes, he he, I said virgin. <laughs> I could see that one coming already. I had loads of cake. Yeah, that that sounds good too. I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, that's not good. How am I still that? That's first place. I hit a wall and sat there for like an hour, and I'm still only this far back. That's insane. Yeah, that cake does sound really fun though. It's really good though. Yum, yum, yum. I could go for some cake. And you know, you happen to know now. Let's pretend that never happened. Oh, yeah, definitely. We're not going to talk about... I, honestly, when I hear that, that word, it always makes me sad thinking about other VTubers who've given it up. It's like, this has been my dream for so long. It always makes me sad when people find out it wasn't for them. It's like, man, I was, I was hoping it would work out for him. Yeah, we won't talk about that anymore. Uh-oh. Oof. That hurts. That hurt a lot. Come on. Look how far we're ahead on the mini-map already on the left, bottom left of the screen. Oh, crap. That was my nitrous. I didn't want to use that. Man, I wasted it. That sucks. People are slow. Yes, very, very slow in this game. Um, they, they're actually meant to be... This is on the hardest difficulty, I should mention. Uh, because I've played this game so many times and I know it so well, um, I actually can... I'm actually just that much faster than them. BS, I call BS. No, uh, you remember at the beginning of the stream, uh, when I selected my racer difficulty, there was casual, racer, and king. Uh, this is king. This is the highest level. They don't go faster than this. This is as hard as I can make the game. I, like I said, I have played this that many times. I am on King difficulty. I am on the... Uh, I have no assists turned on. The only thing I'm playing with uh, is... The only assist I really have is automatic transmission. I can shift it manually if I want to. Um, but the actual manual setting in this game sucks really bad. It doesn't work right. So I don't play with it on because it's actually slower for me. Uh, so that's the one thing I use is automatic. Every other racing game I use manual. Uh, but this one I do use automatic in because it's just the control system. is It's hot garbage is what it is. It's trash. Unfortunately. 
I wish it was better, because I would love to have a manual in it. I wonder, options, can I switch it over and try it? Gameplay. Assists. Oh yeah, here. There, here you go. Proof. Casual, uh, racer, and king. It's already on king. Mode options. No, I refuse. I, I, look, I don't know what else to tell you. Assists. King. That's what I'm on. I can't prove it any more than that. Oh, God, I forgot. They have a manual with clutch option. That's hard to play. Because if you're not used to clutching with your finger instead of your foot like a normal car, that's really hard. We're just going to stick with uh, auto, though. Oh, no, that was the first yawn of the night. <sighs> Crap. I have been staying up later, so... Because I get off stream and I'm so hyped up and wired from being live, I don't know either, so... Okay, so automatic transmission shifts the car for you. Traditional... Okay, what you would know as a car. Gas pedal, brake pedal. That's it. You pull the car from park down through reverse to neutral and drive. You step on gas and car go fast. That is auto. That's all there is to it. Now, in terms of manual, you have to shift the car. You have three pedals at your feet instead of two. Gas and brake are still the uh, normal, but there's an extra pedal to the left called the clutch. The clutch disengages the transmission from the engine. So what happens is, to start the car, you push the clutch in so the motor can spin without the transmission connected. You can then put your foot on the brake, obviously, because there's no part gear, so you're just in neutral then. So you put your foot on the brake and the clutch, you start the car. You can put the gear shifter into first, and then you have to slowly let off of the clutch so you start to roll forward and feather the gas to keep the engine from dying because it will stall the motor. Then you can move away, and once you get it rolling... Uh, you press the gas, you accelerate like normal, uh, yeah, once you get moving, of course, I should say, you start letting off the clutch, you feather the gas, once you're all the way off the clutch, you can just press the gas and you'll go, but you'll only go so fast. Eventually, you have to shift, it won't do it for you. So then, you take your foot off the gas, and you push the clutch all the way to the floor, you pull the lever from first gear to second, and then you slowly switch back, you... You slowly take your foot off the clutch and let the gear engage, and then you can press on the gas once it's engaged. You can kind of do it at the same time if you're skilled. Um, but that's how it works, and then you go through the gears that way. That's how you shift a manual transmission car. So you have to press clutch while you're shifting. I'm learning something. Woo, yes. Uh, I actually learned how to drive. I am 25 now, and I learned how to drive a stick shift car when I was 12 years old. I drove a 1973 MGB, the friends we were talking about, uh, that No Balls and I know. Uh, I was allowed to drive that vehicle, and I learned how to drive stick shift around their yard in it. It was really cool. Yeah, I was I was able... I actually... If, if it tells you how much racing is in my blood, um, I had a Power Wheels when I was four. And I thought it was the coolest thing. I could drive straight into my garage turn the wheel really hard, and shift the car, uh, shift the power wheels to reverse gear. What it did, because they were plastic tires, the wheels would spin backwards, making the cart, or the go-kart, spin around on its front wheels. So basically, once you put it in reverse, the rear wheels spin the opposite direction, they lose traction, and when you turned, the cart would spin around really fast and face the other direction. So, it would basically be like doing a drift. Uh, so, I could drift my power wheels at four years old. I showed my dad that. I'm like, Daddy, watch this. And I went in and I drifted my power wheels. He's like, seriously. You, the kid, yeah. He couldn't believe his kid could drift a power wheels. Uh, since then, I have started drifting go-karts. Uh, then I learned how to drift on this game. And now I can drift in real life. I've actually taken my truck and my cars out drifting before. Uh, usually in the snow, because it's easier. Uh, that and because I don't have enough horsepower to drift on actual asphalt, uh, my tires won't break loose. Ouch. But I, I drift on the snow because it's really slippery, and I can go out and drift in circles. It's fun. 
Best thing I could do uh, as a four-year-old is decently draw my parents. See, I can't draw my parents at all. I can't hardly draw anything. You've seen my uh, illustrations, the pictures I did on Twitter. I can't draw. I still can't draw. So, we all have our own talents. Mine is driving. It's a weird talent, but it's mine. So, your talent is drawing. You have a great art skill. Your beautiful... No, not my beautiful illustrations. My very cursed childlike artwork. It was terrible. I would like to learn how to do it better someday. Someday I'm gonna learn how to draw better. Oh god, this is gonna hurt. We all start somewhere. That's true, yes. We all do start somewhere. I, I won't say I hate my artwork. I, 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 won't, I won't say I'm proud of it, but you know what? I am at least able to draw something that you can tell what it is, so... I'm at least okay enough with that to be confident in. I feel like that's okay. Uh, but I certainly am not going to be proud of it and showing it off in an art gallery or anything like that, though. Okay. Uh, I know this track like the back of my hand now. I say as I crash into the concrete banisters. Come on. There we go. Most of the time... Uh, the art I post is I have second thoughts looking at it too much. No, don't have second thoughts at your artwork. Your artwork is amazing. Even like even some of the more simple stuff I've seen you do it is still really really good. And then when you get okay like the uh, like the I know the cat was probably a little more simple than like the whole drawing of me just because it was a little bit of a different like design. Looking at the two, I would think the cat was probably slightly easier to draw, but both of them look amazing. Uh, so please don't doubt yourself like that. They trust your artwork. You're really good at it. That is definitely something you should trust. I really like the, the birthday cake thing. Or not birthday cake, but like celebration cake, by the way, today. That was really cool. Thank you for that. I really enjoyed checking that one out. The marble cake looked very, very tasty. Actually makes me kind of want to go get uh, cake. Actually, we have a cool thing around here. Uh, one of our local grocery stores does it. Uh, I think Walmart started doing it, too. Uh, they have cookie cakes. It's like a 14-inch cookie uh, instead of a cake. And it's like a big sheet chocolate chip cookie that's like 14 inches of a circle. It's like the size of a pizza. It's so good. That warmed up with some milk is like... For, uh, that could be crack to me. I mean, that is so good. It's insane. Took me a couple of tries to make it look edible. Well, you did a darn good job because it looked very, very tasty. Uh, it definitely looked edible to me. I need another Mountain Dew. I am two hours and 15 minutes into this stream, and I am getting close to where I want to be. Uh, Koi, are you familiar with drifting? Excuse me, I know I said something about drifting. Do you know what drifting is? I know you're not very familiar with cars, so I was curious if you knew what that was. Yesent. I, I don't know... <laughs> yesent. So, I, I take that as a kinda have an idea, right? Is that what I should take away from that? Yes, okay. Uh, okay, have you seen Initial D before? I know some weebs have seen that, others not so much because it is kind of a niche anime. Initial D, Initial D, okay, if you like watching the racing and stuff like I'm doing right now, Initial D is like that, the anime, except there's better story, uh, there is of course less of me, um, and there are some really cool cars and characters, uh, if, and it's not just for car people. You will learn about cars, don't get me wrong, uh, but it's not just for car people. There is a, there's a love story involved with it, uh, actually a couple of them, uh, between not only a boy and a girl, but a boy in his car, a boy in his love for driving. So, Fast and Furious, but anime. Um, kinda? I wouldn't call it Fast and Furious. Uh, maybe more like the original Fast and Furious movies. Like the very first and second one. 
not the newer ones that are always about, we have 92 celebrities in this movie and we're going to save the world from nuclear annihilation by driving this 1970 Dodge Challenger into space. Like, it's not that. Uh, but it is uh, like the original ones. It's a little like that. Yes, you're on the right path. But I do highly recommend it. Uh, it is very, very good. Uh, it's considered one of the best anime of all time in terms of sports anime because racing is classified as a sport. Uh, it is definitely classified as one of the all-time greats. It's an old anime, too. I know you like older stuff. It's from the 90s. It's very, very cool. My particular two favorites, uh, Takami Fujiwara is the main character, of course, uh, but my two favorites are Mako Sato and her co-pilot Sayuki, who run that uh, in, uh, initial D, uh, or not initial D, the Impact Blue Silady. More pieces of gold to watch. Yes, if you have not seen Initial D, another show I definitely would recommend. Very, very good. Uh, did you ever find Gunsmith Cats that I was telling you about on YouTube? I don't know if you ever got a chance to look that up. I know I gotta go find Simpho here after this. Oh boy. Crap, and I missed that sector record again. It's fine, I'm still winning. I fell asleep, so I'm planning to do that soon. No problem, I was just curious. I know people, we all have busy lives, so I get, you know, if you hadn't had a chance. I was just curious if you did or not. That one's, like, I will say, that one's a short watch. If you have time to, like, sit down and watch a movie, you can watch Gunsmith Cats instead. There's only three episodes, uh, and they're, like, 30 or 40 minutes a piece, so it ends up being, like, a two to two and a half hour complete show. So it's actually pretty good to watch. Is like, a, like I said, if you have time to watch a movie instead, uh, it's a great show to watch because you you can kind of fit it into that same kind of time slot. That and of course, Promare is a great one to do in a, a movie time slot because it, it, it's a movie. Dang, three episodes. Yeah, I know it's only three episodes. They it got canceled. Uh, they were planning to do more, but it wasn't as popular as they wanted it to be. I think because it was kind of back in the 90s when anime wasn't super mainstream, I think a modern reboot of it would be super rad, and I think it would catch on pretty well, but uh, because it was already done once, I don't think they're going to give it another chance. So, Sadly, yes, it was a uh, only three episodes, but the three episodes that are there are really, really good, and I think there's more in a manga somewhere if you can find it. I think they did do like uh, more illustration and stuff. It's pretty cool. I need to keep... Oh, no, because it's going to go to part two. Perfect. I was checking. I'm like, did my BGM run out? I don't know how long this video actually is, but it's going to go to the uh, part two rock remix, so we're good. All right. Oh, God, man. I pulled up the stupid news feed again. I hate that. My PC must hate me right now for everything I'm making it do. <laughs> I've got V Magic Mirror running. I've got my Elgato 4K capture going. I've got Streamlabs. I've got YouTube. Uh, ah, yes, newsfeed. Yes, I hate that. All right, time attack grip. We're gonna do this because it's the same track as the other one, and it's two laps instead of three, so it's gonna be faster. And then we get we get our next car. What do you think we should pick, Koi? Should we pick? The, uh, the Golf GTI or the 350Z Z33? Oh, and by the way, the car is called the 350Z. See how Z33 is in brackets? That means it's the car's chassis code. Uh, so they can identify it internally by what generation it is. Kind of an interesting thing. That one, uh, the one that sounds cool, the 350Z? Is that the one, or are you talking the Golf? I get the feeling you're probably not talking about the... Okay, yes. The, I say the Golf does not sound like a cool car, but the 350Z does. To give you an idea, I'm driving the 350Z. The little green hatchbacks are the Golfs. So you did pick the correct car because this is the one I'm taking. Only because the Golf is trash and it's not good for much. It's not fast and it handles like crap. And I need a fast car. Do you actually know that song? You've got a fast car. I want a ticket to anywhere. Maybe we can make a deal. Maybe together we can get somewhere. Any place is better. 
Starting from zero, got nothing to lose. Maybe we'll make something. Me, my, me, myself, I got nothing to prove. You're smart, yeah? Heck yes. Yes, you are smart. Consider karaoke. I actually want to do karaoke sometime. I think that'd be fun. Me and Kamiko actually want to do a collab song. I think I mentioned that earlier. Uh, but we want to do a full collab song together that we release like an actual song. As you should. I... Uh, what do, you, what, do you mean, what do you mean, as I should? Should I be con should I have considered karaoke if I wasn't? I mean, I, know, I'm, I feel like I'm okay at singing. I know I did well in choir in high school and stuff. I enjoy it. But I don't know if uh, you sound amazing okay. Really? Thank you. I feel like, like I said, I feel like I was doing okay. But, I mean, I'm, I've, I've been talking is all I've been doing. And I've got a mouth and a belly full of Mountain Dew, so it's like it's not exactly uh, crystal clear right now. I feel like I'm a little nook up right now. I'm glad you think it sounds that good. All I speak is honesty? Well, thank you. That that means a lot. I'm glad you like it. I actually had a... I, I always thought they were making... Maybe they were actually... So, do you know the... Okay, I need to explain this in a very roundabout way. Do you know the anime trope where the girl is giving clear and obvious hints and the guy is completely oblivious and doesn't understand? I think I did that in high school with about six different girls. They always asked me to like go over and sing for them and I thought they were making fun of me so I kind of always shluffed them off. I'm starting to wonder if you, okay, if you're saying that, I, I wonder if they were actually serious. That was like 10 years ago. Yeah. Took me... might If it took me 10 years to realize that, I might be stupid. They were? Oh, crap. I blew my chance. <laughs> Actually, I did that. I, I blew my chances with a lot of girls in high school. I, uh... I was not great with, uh... Not great with the ladies. I'm still not, actually. I try to be myself, and my problem is that myself is a petrol loving gearhead who uh, plays video games and streams and I'm stable I'm not a bad boy and it's like yeah they girls don't seem to fall into that so unfortunately but that's cool to know that they were I, I mean I, I would have been I'm sure many people will be fond of that I I wouldn't mind meeting somebody who was fond of that that'd be pretty cool uh, I'm glad I've met so many nice people on here already. That's, I'm just happy I'm meeting friends who don't think I'm weird. That's so much nicer. I've always had trouble with that. It's like everybody, you know, I live in the middle of farm country, so if it's not drinking beer, my lifted truck, and Garth Brooks on the radio, they're not interested, you know? And it's like, yeah, I'm not really interested in that. I want sports cars and some good bass bumping and some techie stuff going on it's like ooh wow 10 grand all right nissan man i'm the weird one i cry way too often for the for my own good i don't think that's necessarily a bad thing you know what sometimes being able to let your emotions out like that can be cleansing i have trouble with that that i don't let my emotions out too much and they sometimes get the better of me uh there's I won't say been many a nights, but there have been several nights before where I've had to just kind of cry myself to sleep because it's like, you know, it's, that's all I can do, really. It's like I don't really have any way to let it out like that. But I can't do it very often because I, I, it just it won't come out. So having that ability may not necessarily be a bad thing. Oh, virtual hugs for you. Thank you. And I wasn't... I wasn't trying to be sad. I was just trying to thank you. I said, just it's as a guy, you don't get much in the way of uh, emotional support. We'll say it's the as a guy, as a girl, you can be a little bit more uh, emotionally showing and get away with it. As a guy, it's very much the nut up and shut up approach. So yeah, if you show emotion, it's considered weak. Gendering standards suck. Yes, I definitely agree with that. Um, I am definitely not the kind of... Uh, I'm the kind of person I wish it was just a 
like, do what you want and let others live kind of thing. I, I really wish... I, I definitely have some things I would prefer to do that are a, I will say, more girly thing to do, and I can't because of gender norms and stuff, and it kind of sucks. I, uh... I definitely would like to dress in a little bit of a different fashion for sure, but I can't really do that and not be witch-hunted for it where I live, and it's unfortunate. But I make the best of it. It's like, you know what, there are some things I do enjoy living around here. Like, theft is super low and stuff, so there's trade-offs to it. But yeah, I wish that was a thing to where it's like, you know, I, I always have been very much of the opinion... It's like, you know, okay, everybody gets into talking about, okay, you know, gay rights and, you know, uh, rights for different races and all of this stuff. And I'm like, my thought on all of that has always just been, you know what? Do what, do what you want and have fun with life. As long as you're not hurting others in any way and you're just enjoying your life, just live, man. That's all you really need. Just Enjoy life, be kind to others, and if you don't agree with something, leave it alone and go find something you do agree with, because there's somebody enjoying it for a reason, so don't crap on it. That's something everyone should go by. I, I agree, I think that's exactly... I think if the world thought that way, we'd be in a heck of a lot of a better place, but unfortunately, there's too many people out there that love to hate. And that's sad, because it doesn't have to be that way. The world could be a much more fun place uh, if everybody would just chill out a little bit. It's kind of sad. All right. But Koi, we are to our first mode change in cars. The grip blueprint you're seeing on screen now is uh, circuit racing. There's drag... But we need a car to go, uh, and there's drift and speed as well, but we're not to that yet. So we're going to change modes. We're going to make this car a drag car. Customize blueprint. But yeah, I really, I totally did not zone out there. No, it's okay. I didn't either for a minute. I'm, we're good. Uh, the, basically what it is, there's different types of racing in this game. And, uh, the racing that we're going to uh, be doing, or the car needs to be the right kind for the race, and this one was in the wrong type of racing, so I switched it over to a different race style. That way I can use it in different kind of races. Nitrous Oxide. Body, we're going to make it go, we're going to make car go fast. Yeah, I really wish the world would lighten up a little bit and just let let others live. It's so much easier that way. I really enjoy the... I'm not gonna lie, this guitar is really chill right now, and it makes me want to fall asleep. <laughs> it's like, I should play this when I go to bed tonight. I'm gonna be out like a light if I do. Uh, but I'm probably gonna leave in a bit because I'm yawning a lot. Yeah, I understand that. I'm getting pretty tired as well, but I'm one race day away from getting where I want to go, so I'm going to try to stick with it here. It's only 10.30 where I'm at, and I'm going to try to tough it out until then, because I really do want to make the... Uh, what's my... Okay, 20 for 18 grand. Drivetrain is 20 for 20 grand. Engine is 30 for... Or 22 for 22. Now the turbo is the best money for the... Okay, we're going to need that. Much as I don't want to spend the money, we need power. Okay, custom upgrade. We're going to upgrade the body as well. We're just going to use stock wheels. Oh, no, wait, I have free wheels. Ew, no, I don't want those. Ugh. I am excited for tomorrow. We're going to be playing some uh, Dark Souls for the first time. I have never played Dark Souls before. I'm excited for that. I have no idea what I'm about to get myself into. I feel like I could be making a very big mistake. <laughs> I'm probably going to cry tomorrow. Actually, probably not. No, I'm probably not going to cry. I'm probably going to want to cry. 
I'm probably going to need a new controller after I throw it across the room, too. From what I understand, it is supposed to be a stupid hard game. So I am curious to see what that takes. I'll cry instead for you. I, I, I mean, if you can, I may need some help with it. So I may have to call you for that one. Hey, you're, you're a mod, so I can I can technically dictate crying to you if I wanted to. You could... I, 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 could, I might be able to make that a roll or something. I can look into it. I'll try not to use it a ton, but I might I might actually need that or something. That could work. Alright. Remember how I said we get to do showdowns? We're at our first showdown. Let's go. We got the 240SX. We got the Cobalt SS. And we got the 350Z. Kick ass. Will do. We are so close to getting into React Team Sessions right now. I know we can make it happen. I so want to get up in there. I want to get into... Mm, excuse me. React Team Sessions so we can... Yeah, here we go. Showdown time. Showdowns are run by the organization Super Promotion. And Super Promotion is the biggest racing organization in the game. I'm going to pause the BGM for a minute. Oh, not this guy again. Here's Rio and his team, the Apex Glide. Paul Trask in the R34, Joe Tackett in his Honda Civic. Takashi Sato in the Nissan S15, and Ivan Tarkovsky in his Evo 9. Rio in his... Yeah, he's he's pretty basic. I'm not a fan of Rio. He's actually not that hard to beat either, but it might be because I'm good at the game. Rio is cake to beat. All you have to do is let him wreck at uh, Nevada, and the rest of the races are cakewalk to You can walk him easy. It's not even hard. All right, let's race the drags. Not to be confused with the RuPaul style of drags. All right. I love, everybody has these super raced up like uh, graphics cars and I'm just like, yeah, cool looking wheels and a smooth paint job. Gives me Mario Kart memories. Yes, a little bit. Mario Kart does take a lot of its like race inspiring stuff from actual racing games, because that's what they're good at. Four, five. Nice, perfect launch. Come on. There we got the pull. Oh, this is going to be faster. Yes, 1250. Nice, exactly what we need. But yeah, Mario Kart takes a lot of good racing cues from actually good racing. How did Wade Jackson run an 1156? Holy snot balls, that guy's fast. I need better... I, I, this car might not be enough. I'm making three times the horsepower, and it might not be enough. We won't discuss Wade. Yes. No, we, Wade is... Uh, I need better traction is what I need. Wade's kind of a pain. This isn't my usual drag car. I'm making do with it. Good burnout. That's it? Come on. That's not going to be good. That was better. Come on. That's still not going to be fast enough to beat Wade. I got two tenths of a second off, but that's not going to be enough. Wade Jackson, 12-23. Yeah, he still beat me. Dang it. I'm only going to get second in this race. I've got to get through to the React Team session so I can get my actual drag car. Now, that car, uh, so you have an idea, I call Sorcery. Yeah, he's running it. This is actually the guy I'm racing. This is Wade Jackson. So you're going to see how fast he really is. But the other car I have runs six and a half seconds. So right now I'm across the line already. <laughs> That's how fast my other car is when I build it. It is insanely quick. I wonder, I bet I have... Before I end stream, I'm going to win this race day 
before I end stream, I'm going to go jump in one of my other career modes that I have that car built already, and I'll show you what it's really capable of. Dayum, yeah, pretty much. That is a dumb fat... Once I'm done with this race day, I'm going to get to react and I'm going to stop, but I am going to go over and punch up the... Uh, I'm going to punch up the uh, other career mode so I can show you what my car is capable of. We're going to run the half mile as well because they're... Drag racing is really easy to get points in it really fast because the runs only take 10 or 12 seconds, so you can do the whole thing in about two minutes, which is uh, like one of a three-lap race in a normal race, so it's faster. This is a half-mile race. When I go to start the race, I'm actually going to be quiet for a minute. I'm going to do my countdown so you can see how I can time the light because there's no Christmas tree. You've got to go on these girls' arms, and they're wrong. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, too fast. Crap. Yep, I got too trigger happy. I'm counting too fast because my adrenaline's up from being on stream. I'm usually more calm than this, but I forgot I'm on stream, so I have to count slightly slower. Wait, that happy. Yeah, if you got, you can't jump the light. If you go too soon, it's cheating. No different than if you said... That's like going on... If you, okay, if you say ready, set, go, that's like going on set. It doesn't count. They have to cancel you for that. It doesn't. You don't get to run. That's cheating if I leave the line four. That was better. I'm gonna wait till fourth gear to use my nitrous. Go. Youch. Try being in my class for gym. Oh, did kids jump the line all the time and get away with it? Cause that sucks when they get away with that. I hate when they get when they're able to get away with that stuff. Nice. Not even close. We win that one easily. Yes, that sucks. I always hated that. The other thing I always hated hearing was the fitness gram pacer test. God, I don't miss that. I was born with a slightly messed up nose actually. So, I can't breathe very well, which means uh, when they test your VO2 max, oh, multi yes. This is a multi. Yeah, that that's what what's a multi? Just multiple kids doing it. But yeah, the uh, when they tested our VO2 max and yeah, that sucks. I hate when kids do that. But they tested our VO2 max in high school or middle school, which was how well our bodies used oxygen. And uh, mine was actually the single worst. Um, in the class, I can't use, I only use about 40% of the air I take into my body. The average person uses somewhere around, I want to think it's 60 or 70%, and I only use about 40. Uh, I just can't make use of the air coming in because my nose is so screwed up. I can only pull about that much air in. It's actually why sometimes I sound a little nasally if my nose gets plugged really bad. I can't breathe right. I tried fixing it when I installed my cybernetics, but I can't figure out how. I don't understand how it works, and I couldn't try to rebuild it while I was in there. Kind of a pain. Hmm. I would love to get that fixed someday, but I can't afford surgery like that. It's too much money. I will just suffer for the rest of my life with it. <laughs> Alright. God, who drives that big muscle car for a circuit race? Come on, bud. Gotta know better than that. Alright, so I am starting a full 30 seconds behind first place. I'm going to pass all of these cars. A muscle person? Yeah, there's uh, different kinds of cars. What I'm driving right now is called JDM, Japanese Domestic Market. Means it was sold overseas and then brought here. So this is a Japanese car. Americans, we build a lot of muscle cars. We don't build sports cars so much. Hear how the car sounds really deep and throaty? Let me get up next to it. Hear that noise? How it's really, really throaty and deep? That's because it's running a thwacking great V8 under the hood. They're meant for straight line speed and nothing else. So driving it in a circle kind of is stupid. Cars like mine handle much better. See how I was able to just zip right around him? The car I'm coming up on is actually more of a sports car. It's a Cobalt, but it's a front-wheel drive, so it's not as effective on racing. Not for this kind of racing, at least. 
so I can just zip right past him too. And the guy up here in the lead is driving a Civic, another JDM car, but again, front wheel drive, not as good as my rear wheel drive car in this game. I'm gonna blitz right past all of them once I catch up to him. Right now I gotta catch him in the corners because he's got more power than me on the straights. See, there he is. Already catching him. Come on. Reel that Civic in. And just like I see how I'm way faster than him in the corners. And now I'm going to take the over-under on the outside line because I want to undercut this next corner. He's preparing for this corner. I'm preparing for this one. Ooh, just inside. And I didn't really hurt him that bad. We're good. See how I'm running way off the outside or inside wall? Whoops. Yeah, not like that. That's what I get for looking at chat. This is how I keep speed up through the corners. You're better off driving slightly further if it means going faster. This is so entertaining even when I'm not playing. Thank you. That's what I was hoping for was, hey, trying to make it entertaining. And also trying not to crash because I'm reading your message. <laughs> this is why texting and driving is illegal. <laughs> Don't try to text and race, kids. This has been your PSA for the day from Soji. Come on. Got one. Kids, don't text and drive. Yes, don't text and drive. It's a very bad thing to do, and this is why. Because look what happens to your car. You break it all up. Whee! I win. <laughs> Handbrake turn. Jeez. So, I was able to go around that track... Yeah, show off. Pretty much. I won by seven seconds. I wasn't going to lose that race. Let's be real. Oh, if I go, I'll show you the drag racing car. I'll also show you what drifting is uh, in this game. It's style drifting, which is what, like, Formula Drift is. All right. Uh, we got 12,000. I'm going to have to run them both. I can't go. This should be a very similar... Yeah, I'm not worried. It's minor damage. This should be a very similar track and a very similar short race. We're not going to take too long to do this. I should be able to win this here. It's 2.42, or 2 hours and 42 minutes into stream. I should be able to finish this up in under 3 hours, if I'm correct. Maybe it might go over a few minutes uh, to show you the other cars. There's another muscle car. That Shelby GT500 Mustang. That actually is called, in that paint scheme, from the movie Gone in 60 Seconds, featuring Nick Cage, that car is named Eleanor. Kind of an interesting fact. Ooh, we win that sector handily. Oof, that wasn't good. I've done better racing lines than that. I cut it too close. Sector record by 50. Yeah, that's what I figured. Come on. Ooh, boy. Never understood cars, uh, giving cars... Oh, yeah, you wouldn't understand me then. I've had 20 cars, and about 18 of them have names. Um, I have had Kaylee, Aria, Akiza, Remu, Ruby, uh, Winter... What else have I had? Selen. Uh, I actually named her after Selen Totsky from Niji Sanji. Uh, Ruby is from Ruby Rose. Winter is also from Ruby. Um, the silly I want to call Ryuko. Cars, if you get to know them, they have a bit of a personality to them, weirdly. They act in certain amazing names. Thank you. Yeah, I got a lot of them from animes and shows. Uh, I named them after characters they remind me of. Like the original car, Kaylee. It was kind of an underdog spitfire. So I named her, uh, Kaylee after the, uh, one car I had that was kind of the same way. It was very much a plucky little underdog of a car, so I named it after that character who was the same. Um, I named my car Winter because it was my winter beater, but also because it was kind of cold and callous and... Ooh, that wasn't good. But it was also very cold and callous and unfeeling. It was kind of a jerk of a car, so I named that one uh, Winter. After Winter Schnee.
We're not going to win this race, I don't think. That crash probably gave those people heart attacks. Yeah, pretty much. This game, you can actually total your car out. You can completely ruin it. You can uh, total your car out to the point it is unusable, and you have to pay to have it fixed, which sucks when that happens. We only got second there. Not too... Ooh, that might not be enough. No, 4,000. I was at 12. I'm going to have to drive like an absolute man possessed if I don't want to have to rerun that race. Dang it. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Because I need the actual thing, uh, we're going to repair that using cash. Let's go. I'm going to have to drive like an absolute madman to pull this off, but I think I can do it. That definitely wasn't three quarters of a can of Mountain Dew in one shot. Ooh, baby, that was a... Okay, yeah, that was a caffeine surge. I'm feeling good now. Come on. I cannot wait for a real microphone. These these headphones are so sweaty and nasty. I'm actually looking at a Fifine microphone from Amazon. It's only like 60 bucks. Comes with a pop filter, a boom stand, and everything. So I will have like a professional level streaming mic for about 60 bucks if it works out. I'm really hoping I like it. I want it so bad. Fasten your seatbelts. Yes. I want to buy one someday. When you're ready, let me know. I can help you find cheap stuff. Um, I, I've had really good luck so far with finding cheap stuff that works good, uh, including that Fifine microphone. I'm going to try it out and see if it's any good. For 50 bucks, it's worth a try. And from what I understand, all the reviews I'm reading are like, hey, it's great. Not a hundred, not the best for like recording singers, but if you're just doing it for like podcasting and streaming, they work amazing. So I'm hoping it's as good as the reviews say it is. Oh, boy. Going around the outside. Oh, God. That's going to hit the wall. Yep. Crap. That's going to hit the wall again. Yep. Hey, who signed up for bumper cars? No, you don't, Joe Tackett. Get out of here. See, now, man, ruin my racing line. <laughs> Take him on the inside. Come on. Get some of that. But, yeah, I'll let you know if my, uh, if that microphone I get is any good. Uh, because if it is good, it's pretty cheap for what a microphone is, and it's got so many extras and accessories with it, it's re it makes it really look nice, uh, and it actually works a lot better than, say, like a, a Blue Yeti or Snowball or whatever that uh, honestly just aren't quite as uh, accommodating when it comes to extra accessories. That's what I'm hoping for, at least. We'll find out if it's actually any good or not. Because what I'm using is the headset my buddy gave me for free with the PC. He's like, here, you're going to need this to stream with, so take this. As long as it isn't over 100 no, this is actually 50 bucks. It's half of that. Well, plus shipping. It might be like 60 but it's seriously not expensive. The blue snowballs are about 52 but they said they kind of sound tinny and loud, which I don't want. I want something that sounds a little bit more like this, real crisp and clear and uh, honestly kind of mellow in the mid-range, which is what these Fi Fine microphones are supposed to be. So I'm really hopeful that it sounds good. Time will tell, I guess, but we'll find out. Whoa! Woo! Oh, I almost totaled the car right there. That pokey out bit of the wall will totally you if you hit it. I almost wrecked this car. Wow. I need that out of my way for my next lap. Because I got two shots of nitrous and I'm not afraid to use them. Alright. Nitrous, go! We zooming! Come on. I'm going to use one here, and I'm going to use one back towards the finish line on the way back in. There goes the hood. Yeah, there went the hood. Uh, it's okay, though. We don't need it. I'm just shedding weight. Yep. There's actually That's actually what the motor looks like in real life. That's so cool. It's accurate to real life. And yes, I'm driving backwards. I threaded the needle through that chicane without looking. I'm honestly... Oh, no! No! Crap. No! I got so caught up with my reverse. Dang it! Come on, man! That was another level of talent. Oh, thank you. Yeah. And I immediately go and stuff it into the wall while I'm driving straight ahead. So, 
uh, sh shows how it's like, yes, I can drive backwards. I just can't drive looking where I'm going. <laughs> how does that work? How did I screw up that bad doing that? That was terrible. Hey, I can do it again. I just want to see if I can do it again, if I'm honest. Uh-oh. That's a wall. Am I going to get the 8,000 points I need? Am I going to get the 8,000 points I need? Your confidence scares me. I have been driving so long that that is second nature to me. No, we're going to have to run that other race again. Damn it. Uh, it's just I'm... I am so comfortable behind the wheel that that is second nature. I can, I can't quite drive with my eyes closed, but I can get pretty stinking close. All right, let's do this. I got to run this race again because I screwed up the first time. I need to make sure I win all five sectors, and that guarantees my win. I can take off my glasses and practically drive blind. That would be, one, again, probably wouldn't recommend it, but that would be one way to drive blind. That is, uh, I, like I said, definitely not recommended, but that is possible. All right, come on. We've got to win this race so I can advance. Warm Hedgehog. Hey, what's up, man? I'm playing Need for Speed Hot Pursuit Remastered. Sick. Welcome, Warm Hedgehog. Uh, yeah, I'm playing Pro Street. Uh, this isn't remastered. This is actually live off of an Xbox 360. Um, this is, uh, I've got it hooked up to my capture card. So this is actually on a 360. I know most people don't try to, most people try to emulate this, but I'm actually playing on a console. Ah, oh, I missed the sector record. Come on. Get around the corner. Go. How did Hot Pursuit uh, Remastered go? Because uh, I haven't played Hot Pursuit Remastered. I The last Hot Pursuit I had was Hot Pursuit 2 for the GameCube, if that uh, tells you anything. God, that Corvette wasn't even on the track. What was happening there? Got him that time. This time we're going to win this race. Nice. That's cool we got an extra viewer in here. Oh, that's He's a new one. If you like the content, please feel free to hit the follow button. It's, I don't ask anybody to subscribe because it costs money, but following's free, and I am going to play a lot more racing games like this if you like watching racing games. So, if you want. If not, no big, but this is the kind of content I enjoy making, so I am definitely not going to be uh, giving up racing games anytime soon. Come on. Let's see if I can finish the rest of the race out. Whoa! Looking backwards. Uh-oh. Yep, not good. <laughs> now I'm just clowning. <laughs> I won already anyway, so what do I care? No, Soji, that's a bad idea. Too late. I already did it. <laughs> it's okay. I had won already. I couldn't do any harm. We're good. All is well, no worries. Yay, we win! Yes! And we're going to get to see the animation for React Team Sessions. Need for Speed Remastered, pretty fine. I get it's a reboot of Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. Yeah, I say I. No, I don't. It wasn't a remaster of the Hot Pursuit I'm talking about, though, from back in the GameCube days. The one I'm talking, uh, the one it's a remaster of, is the one from like 2012, and then they rebooted it for modern consoles. I think. I think it's just that game remastered, because uh, it's very, very different from the one I played as a kid on GameCube. I'm gonna play that on stream someday too. Ah, total repair market. Damn it. Uh, it is. Uh, I haven't. That pause was slightly creepy. What pause? Were you talking about when I ta was talking? I was trying to think. 
If it sounded creepy, I apologize. Here we go. Here's the React Team sessions. This is where we're heading next. International. React. Yes, we're in. All right. We're done with that for now. Let me jump over to a different career. God, is that... Oh, no. That's... I forgot. Yeah. Okay. Do I have the right car in this? Garage. Look creepy because I was just blinking. Oh, yeah. No, no worries. You're good there. Um, no. This is not one I have. This is the Corvette. That's a fast drag car, too. But we're going to go back to the other career mode. Let's try this one. Maybe this one will have it. I just looked creepy because I was... Okay, yeah, yeah. No, you're good. Yeah, the the visuals in this game can be a little bit jumpy. So I can't say I blame you. Yes, this is it. This is the fast car. This is the account. Okay, this is my, this is my good account. We're good. We can go racing now. Career map. We're, I'm just going to jump into a race that I know. Yeah, this is what the map looks like when it's complete. I haven't actually beat Rio in this one. I'll be darned. I never finished this. Big boy car. Yes, very big boy car. Um, Infineon, no. I want a proper drag strip. Autobahn ring, expressway. I don't want Tokyo Expressway. Tokyo Expressway sucks. Portland International, no. I don't want Portland either. What's the one I want? I want one with Christmas tree, but I don't want to have to fight it. Is it a Besu? No. Mondello? No, I don't want that. Um, Autobahn ring? No. Maybe I am going to have to go with Tokyo. Oh, no, Leipzig. Leipzig. Maybe Leipzig is good. No, because it only does drift. Man. Oh, no. No, it's not Willow Springs. Um, you know what? Screw it. Yeah, we're just going to run... Oh, no, because Portland doesn't have any drift. Dang it. Autobahn ring has drift as well. Well, most likely because of how... I'm not going to be... I'm going to be honest. The cars... The car lot of this game has a lot of cars in late 2000s. Yeah, this car is, this game was out in 2007, so that's pretty much all the cars they have in this game are like 07 and older, just because that's uh, pretty much all they had back then. There, are, there isn't anything newer because this game quit getting updates a long time ago. It does make me sad because it was a really good game, but I understand why it was necessary. Autobahn ring, yeah, we'll run this one. This isn't my favorite place to do drag racing. Um, but it'll work. We'll do this. Oh, for God, not again. I don't want... Okay, here we go. This was back when I was boring with my colors. Uh, do I want the... Oh, no, this is the... I forgot. This is the car I want. This is my drift car. That one, and then we'll take this. Yes, that'll work. Perfect. Yeah, this uh, this game is very, very old. When this game came out, the Lamborghini Murcielago was... Hey, thank you for following. Appreciate it. I'm glad you're enjoying the content enough to follow. Awesome. But yeah, the uh, all the cars in this game are like... This was... That Evo was brand new. Uh, I mean, the car matches with you. Yeah, it kind of does. Um, I guess I'm showing a lot of where my design inspiration came from, I guess. <laughs> uh, let's go quarter mile drag race Supra but yeah the, the uh, I always have loved red and black that's why uh, actually part of why I programmed race mode to be red uh, I wanted red to be integrated in now okay do you remember Koi the other cars we were running had like two and three hundred horsepower this car has one thousand and fifty six horsepower it is ten times as powerful as the car I was driving before That's what my car sounds like. I'm the... I know a lot of people that... No, this game was not as popular as some of the other Need for Speed games, but personally, it's one of my favorites. Uh, I just think it was a better match for a lot of people. Ah, 701. Dang it. But yeah, this game was not as popular as a lot of the other games, but I think it's really fun. 
Uh, I think it was the last great Need for Speed game before they messed with the driving engine and made it into something I really didn't like. Soja is the only reason why I can sit through these. Well, thank you. I'm glad I'm making it entertaining for you because uh, uh, that's uh, that's exactly what I was shooting to do. Is it's like you know the I wanted to share the stuff I love with the world, but I also understand that it's not everybody's cup of tea. So I'm glad I'm making it bearable for you. <laughs> I'm doing my best. Uh, all right, come on, let's get better. I want to get max grip on this one. I want to get sub sevens. Ah, not quite. Grip. 2010. That, yeah, that's the old one I meant. That's the one it's a remaster of. Oh, no. Oh, crap, 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 crap. <laughs> I almost totaled the car out. Holy crap, that was fast. I hate this drag strip for that. But you can see just how much faster this car is than the other one I was driving. Holy crap. Yes, that's what the remaster was of, though. Uh, is Need for Speed 2010. That's what the game was that was remastered, I believe. What the heck just happened? What the heck just happened was the car torque steered. The engine is turning so hard that it actually pulled the car to the left slightly and tried to drive me into a friggin' telephone pole. And I had to steer it into the wall to keep it from totaling out. Hopefully it doesn't have hurt the performance of the car too much. Alright, come on. Oh, God! That wasn't good. <laughs> Does Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2010 a bad game like Undercover? See, I can't answer that because I actually really like Undercover. Alright. Yeah, I can't answer that. I really liked Undercover as well. I thought it was a good game. Alright. Because I can't get a good run on this track from start, I'm going to make a normal pass of what it would be like on a regular track. Two hundred and twenty-nine miles an hour. I just dozed off for a sec, so I'm gonna get off after this. No problem. I just finished this. Let me show you drag or drift racing, and then I will be done. That was drag racing, and that's how fast that car is. I will drift one time, and then I will call it a night for you, because I'm getting tired as well. It is after eleven now. Race events drift. This one will work. All right. So this is all about driving sideways, if you can believe it. I'm going to tell you that Need for Speed Undercover is going to turn 15 years old. Yeah, it is getting old. This game, I think, is even older still, I believe. Um, it, it, they were both around the same time. This was the same generation of game. Uh, I do like both of them, and I know they're kind of outdated, but I have a soft spot in my heart for them. They're just fun. I really enjoy them. All right, come on. This is drifting, Koi. Drive sideways with the back end hanging out. Whoa, baby. Oh, crap. <laughs> yeah, I'm out of practice. I haven't run this track in a long time. Nice. 61,000. This is cool AF. Awesome. Glad you like it. This is stylized sliding of your car. It's basically how to drive your car. Okay, there's driving your car before you lose grip. There's driving your car when it right before you're about to lose grip. This is what it's like to drive your car once you're over the grip limit. Once the tires can't hold you anymore, this is what it is, is it's drifting. If you ever want to see cool videos, type up Formula Drift uh, Pro Series. They actually have professional drifting for this. By the way, I'm also a Gran Turismo fan. Ah, so you're on the opposite side of the fence for me. I'm a Forza buff myself, uh, but I do have a deep love for some of the cool stuff they do in GT. Um, I just, I've never had a PlayStation, so I've never been able to try it. That was a better run, by the way, 200 points more. There's a track on this I can actually get as high as uh, 11,000 points in this game. 
I think I've actually maxed out at 16 before, but that was a really, really good, uh, that was a really, really good run. But yeah, this was really fun, and if you type up, uh, Formula Drift Koi, you'll find some really cool videos of, uh, drifting and stuff. It's this, but in real life. They have real cars doing this. They'll run side-by-side -side doing this, door-to-door. -door. It is amazing to see what they're capable of. They are some seriously talented drivers. And you know that I love... You know what? I love both Forza and Gran Turismo. Oh, yeah. No hate on either one. They're a both... There we go. 7,000. That's even better. But, yeah. I love both Forza and Gran Turismo as well. Don't get me wrong. I've just... I've never had a chance to really play uh, Gran Turismo. I've never had a PlayStation, so... Forza's just always kind of been my bag because it's what's been accessible to me. Uh, but yeah, both of them are great, great racing series. And my anxiety would just go through the roof thinking they'd crash. Uh, no, no, the, the, it's it's safe. It's on a track. So even if they do crash, nobody gets hurt. I don't think there has ever been a single death or anything in uh, Formula Drift. There are occasional minor injuries, but they're very, very, very rare. Uh, and it's usually like somebody acts, okay, somebody uh, twisted their wrist or something in the car or uh, whatever. Yeah, no, it's a very, very safe sport. Um, I wonder if I can pull up like a video real quick before I cancel. Um, I obviously have to turn off the sound. You lot drift run. I'm going to type in Odie. He's my favorite driver. Let me pull up a window on Streamlabs so you guys can see real quick. Uh, window capture. Nope, I need Chrome. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Excuse me. There we go. Done. Uh, this is... I'm going to put this over me real quick here so you guys can see. I'll actually pull it behind me. There we go. This is Formula Drift. I have to mute this, obviously. But this is what it looks like. Uh... This is 17 minutes. Obviously, I'm not going to play all of this, but this is what they do. I wonder if I can unmute this. Yeah, screw it. This is what it looks like when they race in real life. How cool is this? I love this. Right up on their door, and they go side by side, drifting through the corners. How cool is that? And then he gets to do the same thing with the same guy, but he has to follow the run instead of lead it. And uh, whoever the judges think do better uh, gets to win. There's no winner or loser in terms of like first and second. It's all about who does more style, which I absolutely love. Right up on his door. Oh, and he wrecked it. Still cool, though. Very, very fun to watch. That's actually really cool, huh? Yeah, that's, uh, that's one of my favorite things to watch is Formula Drift. It's one of the few sports I actually watch anymore. Uh, let me get rid of that real quick. But yeah, that's one of the few sports I actually watch just because it's so much fun. Uh, drifting is, like I said, I wanted to do that in real life. I wanted to be a professional drift driver. Whoops, didn't want to press that button. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to do that for real. I thought it would be so much fun. So Awesome. Well, Koi, I know you're getting tired. Warm Hedgehog, thank you for hanging out here at the end of the stream. I really appreciate that. So other than, other than that, I love the standard Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2010 and the remastered variant, in my opinion. Yeah, both of those are really good. Um, I I should say, I haven't had a chance to really play them much, but I have seen some gameplay, and they do look pretty sharp. Um, it's just a game... Like I said, after Pro Street and Undercover, I'm not as huge of a fan of the... Uh, okay, Koi, Knight, I'm going to sign off here in a second anyway, so thanks for hanging out. I really appreciate it. Thanks for uh, hanging. I'll be playing Dark Souls tomorrow, same time, if you want to come hang. Uh, I always appreciate you hanging out with me, so have a good night. Sleep well. And then, yeah, the uh, Pro Street is... After that, I kind of lost touch with their driving engine, and Forza Horizon came out, and that's just where I went from there, so... Uh, but, yeah, so from there, I am going to go ahead and call it a night. Thank you both for tuning in. Uh, much appreciated. I am going to head... I'm going to go ahead and call it a night as well for me. I am getting tired, and I got work in the morning, so... So, with that being said, thank you so much again for tuning in. My name is Soji. And I'm out.